what you can express, that the rest of the community can benefit from witnessing it, and it gives you a chance to um, enrich others through your enrichment. Here. I think that's really oh, important. It's... Whether you're an artist, right now, whether you're a, a musician, a to see who has the most spirit. whether you have I a passion agree. for political ideas or spiritual ideas, MCTV gives a, a, a voice to that, an opportunity for your voice to be heard. Once again, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Saginaw Valley League Girls High School Swimming and Diving Championships. The Saginaw Valley League title is once again up for grabs. Last year's champion, Grand Blake High School, is champion no more. The diving championships were held Thursday night here at Dow High School. Congratulations to Abigail Harned from Bay City Western. She is the 2020 Saginaw Valley League champion. Right now, the teams are getting warmed up. There's lots of cheers and team spirit going lots, on. Lots of spirit. It's a competition of who's the loudest, who can, who can uh, do the most cheering. The spirit title is one thing, but the <laughs> Saginaw Valley League championship has still plenty of events to go here today, and every team still has a chance to be crowned champion. Will it be a repeat title? for the Grand Blank Bobcats, or will H.H. Dow High School start another dynasty? Or will it be any of the other eight teams competing here today? We shall see. One thing's for certain, the champion today here will have to win the title in the pool. Stay tuned, because today there will be a Saginaw Valley League champion crown. My name is Dave Erlop. And my broadcast partner and professional broadcaster and lovely <laughs> wife is Renee Erla. Well, hello, everybody. We are broadcasting from the Midland Public Schools competition pool, and it's housed at H.H. Dow High School, home of the Chargers with champion swim and dive teams. Um, we're both the parents of two current Dow High swimmers, Amelia, she's a freshman, on the girls' team, and Aaron, he's a sophomore on the boys' team. Um, our oldest son, Austin, he's also a Charger alum on the swim and dive team. Amelia will not be competing today. Sadly, she did not uh, make the cut today, but she did end her season with a personal best in the 50 and 100, so that was pretty exciting. Way to go, baby girl. Just an FYI for those of you watching at home and for those of you that are watching later, right now in Midland, there's a crosstown rivalry football game going on at Community Stadium between Midland High School and H.H. Dow High School in a district playoff race. The second time those teams have come face to face here recently. Uh, Midland High got the better hand the last time those two uh, teams met. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens today. That's why they play the game. Yeah, exactly right. So and much happening here on this Saturday afternoon. It's a beautiful day outside here on a, on a November day that doesn't feel much <laughs> like November, but it feels like swimming is about to start here today. So we are excited to get these championships underway. And we are so excited to have two Midland teams here. We have both Midland High and Dow High. Midland is really known for some great, great swim programs. And swimming goes deep. We have two middle schools with teams. We have two high schools with teams, both girls and boys. We have the Dolphin Swim Club, very prominent in this town. Uh, pool time around here is like trying to get ice time. You know, until they built that new facility, boy, oh boy, we could use a natatorium around here, I can tell you that. Absolutely. They have at least been able, a lot of the girls have been able to swim at places like Standish, Portage, Gross Point North, Forest Hills, places around the state that have some pretty incredible pools. Um, and what we do have here, though, is space. We have lots of space at Dow High. Thank yeah. goodness for that, and especially during COVID-19 times, because these teams have to be spaced out. 
We are not allowed to have many spectators. Uh, today, there's one spectator per senior swim participant. So that's all they can do for us this year. But that's okay, we are at least having a meet, which is more than I can say about how the season ended for the boys last year. That's right, we're happy to be just swimming again and uh, having sports again is, uh, is a big step. So, you know, last year, defending champions, as I mentioned, were the Grand Blank High School Bobcats. This is Grand Blank's third year in the Saginaw Valley League, and since they've entered the league, many of their athletic teams have done very well. They are a huge Division I school with more than 2,700 students. What a pool of talent to choose from. I can't even imagine what that would be like. Their high school is almost twice the size of most of these schools, if not three times. It's a classic David versus Goliath situation. <laughs> Will the Grand Blank High School Bobcats be able to hold their title? We shall see. Of course, we have H.H. Dow High Chargers, the Midland High Chemex, Bay City Western Warriors, Bay City Central Wolves, the Heritage High Hawks in Saginaw, Powers Catholic Chargers in Flint, the Davison Cardinals, the Mount Pleasant Oilers, and the Lapeer High Lightning. All right. Well, as we're coming here today, you know, we want to make sure that uh, we go over some of the scoring for you at home, right? So uh, it's a little bit different than other Saginaw Valley leagues. And uh, I see the girls starting to line up for the uh, national anthems here. So if, uh, if I get cut off, it's fine from the national anthem. But uh, I'm just going to kind of try and set the stage for you of how this meet will be scored today. This meet will be run as a timed finals meet. Now that's a little bit different than the normal meets where you had uh, the, the two scoring heats and uh, the top 16 scored uh, for your team. It's and that final heat was always the champion swimmers. Right. They were your, your top eight swimmers usually over at SVSU, which is where typically this meet has been held. Right, so it's a little bit different today. Looks like we are about to get things started. Jeff Newman, our announcer, will tell you a little bit more about those people. We could tell you a little bit more about the scoring, at least for right now, until yeah. we're about ready for Sounds this anthem. Sounds like he's doing what we're doing. Uh, points are, avail are awarded based off of the overall finish, no matter what heat. Regardless of the heat, the fastest time today will win the Saginaw Valley League title for that event and the corresponding point values for their teams. So the points shall be scored by the following, 19 points for first place, 17 points for second place, 16 points for third place, and on down the line all the way to 18th so, place. So for a change of pace, really, every girl is going to score, no matter what, even if she gets one point. That's right. Looks every girl like we are, will score. are we I'm going to rise start? for the anthem. I'm going to, yeah, why don't, let's stand up, Billy, so we're ready to go here. Because it looks like we're about there. What, we, what I can say about the scoring is you don't necessarily just win on first places. You gotta have those scores deep and you have to have a lot of swimmers in the meet overall and that helps with the scoring overall. Right. Jeff is just introducing the teams and as the teams are being introduced, you'll see them file from the stands to the side of the pool for the anthem. That's gonna be a very nice visual with all of these swimmers surrounding that pool once their teams have been introduced. And and uh, we just introduced Dow High, Dow High's coaches, if we want to mention them, uh, head coach Claire Freeze, and along with Jessica Harris and Lauren Hall, and Janet Beattie was, is the diving coach. Her time just wrapped up yesterday. Um, Claire stepped in, of course. Chili Smith was the longtime coach for the girls swim team. He was also part of the boys swim team. Chili, I know and you're watching out yeah. there. Hey, Chili. Hello, Chili. Thanks we miss you. I know service. that you have good spirit uh, sending this way to all these girls here today. And they definitely miss you. Claire has had to fill some big shoes, but she's very capable after working with uh, as well on the boys swim team last year as assistant coach with Gary Strickler, another longtime award winning coach. Yeah, miss you too, Gary. Miss you. Lots of years of service. Uh, Loss in that coaching uh, for, for the Midland Dow High School, but you know, it's, uh, it's time for Claire's to take her seat at the table and uh, see where she can take those programs. I'm trying to look at where our camera is on here, introducing 
different teams. Oh, there's Dow High. Yet we introduced the coaches over there. I know the uh, captains for Dow High, Amanda Davis and Mac Thackery, both seniors, both here today to root on their team. Very exciting day for them. Our photographer on the floor is Mr. Haynes, Lauren Haynes' dad. She's a diver. And I think she had fifth place. We'll talk about the diving later, but we'll give those scores later. But she did very well. There's Midland High's team. Their head coach is Buffy Hall, along with Abby Boutris is the assistant coach there. So we can see her. And to the, in front of Midland High, kind of in front and behind them, is Grand Blank, coached by Emily Overmeyer. Great team. It'll be some good competition in the pool for all of our girls. If we show possibly Lapeer, I think they might be on the other side of the pool there. Their head coach is Linda Wagner. And who are they announcing now? Not quite sure who they're announcing. We've got, I see Powers over there. Powers Catholic, coached by Chase Harvey and Olivia Gregson. Great team over there. They were here before swimming in the Dow High pool, or I should say the Midland Public Schools pool that's housed here. Bay City Central is coached by Rennie Beatty and Dave Studebaker. Bay City Western, go ahead, Dave. Well, Bay City Western is uh, coached by Lisa Manuel, longtime middle school science teacher. Exactly, yes. Western Dave is a middle former school. counselor over at Bay City Western, current counselor over That's at right. Bay City, um, in Bay City at the Bay Air Net Career Center. Yeah. So he's familiar with those Bay City teams. Cut my teeth. Oh, and here we go. Uh, national anthem. Dale Dunham. We'll pause for national anthem. Here's the anthem. Always brings a tear to my eye every time. I just can't help it. So much excitement, so much joy. Yeah, the energy is starting to build here. Uh, the last two teams we want to mention: Heritage High School is coached by Tyler Miller, and Davison High School is coached by Jennifer Hayworth. As the swimmers file back into their respective seating areas, all staying socially distanced and wearing masks, it is starting to get the excitement is starting to build and. Uh, for all of those of you that have seniors and are watching here at home today, we're gonna do our best to recognize the seniors as well as all of the swimmers, but especially those seniors who today may be swimming their last competitive event. Could be their last competitive event as in high, high school. As a high schooler if they didn't make the state qualifying time. Exactly. So we might, we're going to mention a few people that are working today. Uh, the meet manager today is actually Claire Freeze. She, of course, she's the head coach for Dow High and uh, Jeff Newman, you'll hear on the, he's announcing for us today. That's he's announcing right. all the events on the pool deck for the swimmers and the spectators. Uh, Jeff, you know, longtime swim parent veteran. Mm -hmm. His uh, son, Ben, swam for the high school, assisting with record-breaking events. And then he has a state champion daughter and record-breaking daughter, Claire Newman. She's a 2020 graduate from Dow High and holds several records for the girls' team. Her name can be seen on that board. Randy Hall is in the office and keeps track of the swimmers' times and scores for the meet, and he makes sure the backup timers are working. All right, we're getting ready here for our I very first whistle. event. Here we go. 200 freestyle medley relay. The 200 relay. medley relay. So there's going to be 50-yard swam of each, the backstroke, the breaststroke, the butterfly, and the freestyle. Let's get ready for the start. We'll have two heats in this event and in lane, let them get started. 
In lane two, we have Lapeer with M. Niquette, Natalie Crockett, Gabby Keel, and Michaela Ray. In lane three, we have Isabella Goulet, Jaina Scherzer, Maddie Fournier, and Brianna Rosek. In lane four from Heritage, we have Madison Flunder, Abigail Jepilano, uh, Emma Inman, three, uh, and Rhea Lloyd. And in lane five from Bay City Central, we have Mason Kalinowski, Isabella Isabel, Tribalfner, and Izzy Slazer, and Ella Briggs. So this is heat one of two for the 200 medley relay. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. you know, the relays are probably some of the most exciting things because that's where they're really working as a team. You're seeing some serious competition. There's usually lots of cheering going on. Not that the other events aren't, but the relays are really quite exciting. Well, Western High School off to a big lead after the backstroke and the breaststroke. The diver just jumped in doing the butterfly, but the, the real race is looks like between lanes four and five for second Heritage place. Heritage and Bay City Central. Very nice. Yes, they are. Those girls are right on top of each other, right next to each other, which is which is good for a swimmer to be able to have that competition right next to you. You can see out of the corner of your eye, and especially when you can see that lead swimmer ahead of you, you know who you've got to beat if you want to get that first place spot. Nothing more exciting than a 50 freestyle to win or lose for your team. You know, uh, swimming's a pretty individual sport, but when it comes to the relays, it's actually a time where you get to be part of a team and compete for a victory with the four of you. So that's the Western where the team Western is definitely pulling in. out on this one. Western over there in lane, lane three, three is yeah. leading this one big time. Mm -hmm. Still, I'd say a competition though between lane four and five, which is Heritage and Bay City Central. All right, 202.26 was the, let's see what they come in. Uh, looks like the time for Western was 2.10. 210. Point ninety three. Point ninety three. Nicely done. That's a nice time. Right? All right, yeah. all right. Lane three. Western took that next place. Very nice. Very nicely done. Okay. Ready for the second heat. The girls will be doing a warm down. I know after each after each heat they'll do a twenty five warm down, which really just means they go to the other end of the pool, and that really has to do with some of the COVID guidelines too to keep the girls from congregating in areas to keep them as separate as we can. So they swim to the other area, get out on the other side, mm -hmm. and uh, go back to their socially distanced stands area. We will be doing a second heat in just a moment of the 200 medley relay, which this will be nice too. And it'll be nice to see how the times measure up. Right. One of the things that I know people can, if they happen to have it, is Meet Mobile. All the swim parents usually have Meet Mobile. But that is one of the wonderful apps because heat sheets are not available at this Well, right okay. now, 210.93 is the time to beat. Let's see if any of these swimmers can best that time. The Western Warriors We've have got a little replay action on the screen up. there. 210.93. Unless they just, oh, they just showed the replay. Okay. All right. Jeff Newman is introducing the final heat of the 200 medley relay. And this is really where... You know, it shows the depth of your team. Uh, do you have enough swimmers qualified for the SVL to put together one or two relays? And, uh, you know, it's a coach's decision of whether or not she wants to swim two relays or just one. And it looks like... Uh, this second heat's going to have all the lanes filled, all one through six. So this should be a good race. And then we'll find out the total time. And we'll announce who those swimmers are once they get... Oh, it looks like Jeff Newman is announcing all of them right now, so I'm going to go ahead and announce them as well while we're waiting. In lane one, we have Davison High School, Grace Dorman, Lily Smith, Maddie Heldy, and Sydney Dyer. I'm going to pause for just a second as the girls get ready to go here. We try to keep it relatively quiet when they are getting ready to go. They usually want lots of spectator noise to be at a minimum so the girls can hear and concentrate. Okay, in lane two, we have Dowhai, we have Chloe Stafford, 11th grader, we have Lauren Bergard, 11th grader, Emmy Sauer, 9th grader, Kaylee Jackson, senior, in lane three. 
we have Grand Blank. So lanes two and three, we'll see how they go head to head. Oh, it's here. a race right now. Grand Blank in the lead, the power's heading close. This is the backstroke, starting off the backstroke. In lane three for Grand Blank, we have Sophie Curtis, oh, Sarah right Hartwell, there. Amelia Ayers, and Allison Quitos. In lane four, we have Powers Kappa with Laura Ouija, Abigail Murs, Lauren Taylor. You can hear the crowd cheering, That's too. It's quite a race still, even and, on the breaststroke. And stroke. in lane four, the fourth swimmer will be Olivia Canera as the anchor for them. In lane five, we have Midland High. We have Maya Zaliski, uh, Looks Addison like that Bertier. Powers team might be pulling ahead. Oh, boy. We've got also in lane five, Abby Haig and Sandy Martin. So in close. In lane six. From Mount Pleasant, we have Chloe Campbell, uh, uh, Nola Boyle, AC Miller, and Ella Connors. So those are our swimmers today. All right, it's a two-person race there. I can't see. Yep, there it is. Lanes three and four are the ones to watch here today. But but Dow High coming back. What a comeback for the Dow High right. in lane two. It's down to the freestyle here. Dow High had an incredible butterfly. We've got Kaylee Jackson and Allison Quitos. She head might to have head. a chance to catch that Powers girl. It's a two-person race now for second between Dow High and Powers, and they might even pass the Grand Blanker. This is going to be a photo finish. Looks like Grand Blank in first. Second place. Grand Blank takes first place. Went to Dow High. Look at final swimmer, Allison Quitos. And, and in second place was lane two from Dow High. Third place went to Powers. And lane in third place went to, yep, Powers Catholic. That last swimmer was Olivia Camara with that final part. Wow, less than four hundredths of a second. I believe you're looking at a replay right now. What a finish. That Dow yeah, High there it was. Look at that close. Wow. Four hundredths of a second. It's always crazy in swim, those I hundredths love, of a second. Love the relays. What a win. What a win for Grand Blank. Congratulations to them. But and congratulations to both Powers and Dow for a fantastic, entertaining race. That's girls are doing their warm down. That was a great race. Lots of cheering going on. There is going to be a 10 minute break for the girls. So there'll be a 10 minute break for the girls to uh, warm down, warm up a little bit for the next one, right. get ready, because some of these girls that were just in those races will be competing right get, right away. Well, also with the COVID rules, uh, you know, the team's warm-up times were staggered. Uh, some of these teams showed up at 10 o'clock this morning for their warm-up, and so they've been sitting around for a long time, and it gives them a chance to get back into the pool here and, and get their muscles uh, ready for the next races coming up, which uh, we will be back here uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk for a while but uh we're definitely the a couple of people that we want to mention though we do want to mention some people here over at mctv we want to thank mctv for broadcasting this event today right. we have matt thomas he is directing and his son marcus thomas who's kind of just right over by us mm. he is running one of the cameras along mm. with midland public school's very own abby miller she is down in the stands getting that photo finished for us at the end over there so she's running the camera Chris Ferguson is on the graphics, and we have Jim Malik. He's on the audio, keeping everybody in tune so we can be heard. So right. this is good stuff for all of us. All right, so the diving championships, as we mentioned, were held Thursday right here at H.H. Dow High School. And uh, we want to update you kind of on the, the standings of the diving because uh, these scores definitely are going to help these teams win or lose their championships for their teams. We've seen that many years in, in swimming where uh, teams that would have won had they had a diver, you know, they yes. won the swimming events yep. in the pool, but they didn't have a diver. So they didn't get those and points. And so they didn't win the championships. So yeah, these you know, and that's one thing. I mean, Dow High's had some great divers for a while for the girls' swim team, but yeah. the boys' swim team, whew, they've been struggling for a little bit. So if there's any uh, divers out there for <laughs> the boys' swim team, I'm sure they would welcome you. Well, I'm sure they would, too. I mentioned in my opening that uh, the Saginaw Valley League champion for diving was uh, from Bay City Western High School, Abigail Harned. And uh, congratulations to her. It was an extremely uh, competitive diving competition, very close between her and the second place diver, Emily Kazook from, from Dow High School. So uh, those two really, uh, we're going neck and neck there in the diving competitions uh, for their teams. So I want to start with the uh, 12th place finisher, uh, 
Emerson Ish with 215 points from Midland High School. In 11th place, we had Kia Hemminghouse, Hemminghouse. Yep, with 233 points, also from Midland High School. 10th place was Francesca Palma, 243 points from Dow High School. And Francesca is actually um, used to doing the diving off of the, like the five meter diving mm -hmm. off of the high, the high dives. She is a um, student visiting us right now. Foreign exchange student? Yep, foreign exchange student. She has a host family here in Midland, and luckily she has blessed us with her talent here for the Dow High Girls Swim Team. So it's been a joy to watch her as well. Well, when her and time she's accommodated here really is, well too. When her time here is done at school, she'll return with the 10th place Saginaw Valley League title. Ninth place uh, going to Madison Yaki, 244 points from Midland High School. And uh, Miriam Griffin took eighth place from Grand Blank with 256 points. And in sixth place, yep, Ma seventh. seventh place, Meredith Doan, also from Grand Blank with 261 points. In sixth place, Madison Bearden, also from Grand Blank with 289.9 points. Fifth place, Dow High's very own Lauren Haynes with 297.85 points. She happens to be a junior, so we'll see her for another year, which is great. Mm. Then in fourth place, Ellie Sider from Grand Blank with 309 and a half points. In third place, Emily Snyder with 330.55 points from Powers Catholic. Excellent job. In second place, Emily Kazook from Dow High. She's a sophomore. 366.25 points from Dow High. So we'll see her again. And then, as Dave said, go ahead, Dave. Well, the Saginaw Valley League champion from Bay City Western High School, the Warriors, Abigail Harned. Congratulations to all of the divers. Uh, those scores for six dives are very, very impressive. Uh, wished I could have seen it, but uh, heard about it and uh, saw a few pictures and, and uh, just congratulations to all of those girls. And you know, and quite often too, the divers, they a lot of times practice together. I know a lot of them have been practicing together with Janet Beatty. She leads a little diving club there. I shouldn't say a little, a, a diving she club. She coaches a lot she of the divers. She coaches a lot of the divers. Area. Excellent coach. Those girls, when you watch them from the beginning of the season to the end of the season, to see their improvement is just amazing. And the things they can do off a diving board are blow my mind. Well, you talk about the dedication, you know, those those times, the only time that they can really access the pool is after everyone's done swimming. Exactly. And so they're here late at night into the evening, and uh, I know that they, they get to uh, play some music in here when they're practicing, but it's uh, it's a dedication that uh, – that those girls make because a lot of times they're here till uh, late into the evening. Yeah, usually about nine o'clock at night or so before this pool closes for the day. Yeah, I'm not sure how it is at other places, but that's how it runs here. Looks right. like we're getting ready getting to get ready. our next event going. Do we want to read uh, one of those uh, promotionals while we've got a chance? We could read one of those promotionals while we have a chance which will be right here. All right. The volunteers and staff of the MCTV network would like to thank the Midland Public Schools for their support in today's production. So they are very happy to be there with us. The coverage of this Saginaw Valley Girls Swim Meet Finals is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to create games or meets or produce meets like this one sign up for their media creator workshops you'll learn how to be a producer create a studio program use professional video cameras and edit your video on professional software learn how your creation can be made into a and podcast we are about to start this next heat, so let's get to YouTube. that There's the okay whistle. here we go event two 200 freestyle one of the toughest races it's uh, almost like a sprint 200 yards. It is almost sprints. like a sprint, and at the same time, it's a, bit of a middle distance race. And they're off for the first of three. 200 yard freestyle. Okay, so let me read off who's in what. We've got three heats of this. In lane one from Dow High, we have Emma Dingman. In lane two from Dow High, Claire Humber. In lane three from Dow High, we have Ashlyn Bernard. In lane four from Midland High School, we have Alyssa. 
Gretsch in, in lane five from Midland High, we have Maya Zalewski. And in lane six from Davison, we have Grace Dorman. All right, looks like in the pool, we've got a lane three out to a bit of a lead. That's, that's uh, Ashlyn Bernard Dow from High Dow High. Center, but, but we've got, uh, oh, that's lane four actually. Well, it's, it's pretty close here. Now, let me tell you about the 200. I swam this event in high school. I was a uh, four-year letterman from Alpena High School back in the late 80s. And uh, swimming the 200 is all about strategy, right? How fast do you go out in that first 50 or that first 100? Do you save a little bit for the end? Or in the case of those finals, it's going to be uh, an all-out sprint for eight lengths of the pool. Looks like it's, it could be anybody's race, but we've got two, three, and four lanes. Two, three, and four right now are where we're contending. We're pretty close together, but really, you never know in these last laps yep, how it can go. Coming into the 150, which means it's going to be down to the last 50. Looks like uh, lane two's taking a little yeah. bit of a lead. It's anybody's race. Claire Humberg from Dow High. She's mm -hmm. a freshman. And we're seeing. That lane turn. three hit the wall first. Okay, now we're nice. at even, just about. Ooh, this, is, this is turning into a race here. You yeah. never know what could happen over there in lane five. Yeah. And quite frankly, lane one and lane six. I mean, you never know what'll happen well, after this last just, turn. Uh, here we go. Let's just sit and enjoy the last 25. Let's see what happens here. We've got, oh boy. In lane two, Claire Humberg. And in lane it's close. four, Looks like lane four. Lane is four run. from Midland High. Also a freshman, Alyssa. Nice job. Nice job. Midland High. Okay, so first, yeah, first that place. Victory. First place went to Midland High in that spot. Oh, and our scoreboard flat. is down, but we can always look at our Meet Mobile if we want to see those scores. Two twelve flat for the uh, very for the nice, champion. very or, nice. Or not the champion, but for the winner of that heat. All right, we will have High another School. heat of this. Nice job, nice job. Here's a replay for you at the very end of that finish. Wow, that was a nice finish. Look at those stretched arms just gliding it, getting in there. Very nicely done. All right, Heat 2 promises to be as exciting. Lots of those times bunched up together. We've got several gals from, this is actually a Grand Blank and Dow High pool right now. This all six lanes. It's either a Grand Blank girl or Dow High girl. So we will read those gals in just a moment. We're getting ready. Notice how the girls are always looking down. They're very concentrating, ready for the race. And they're about to start. We've got our starter out there, and they're off. Okay, in lane one from Grand Blank, a freshman, Autumn Wolcock. In lane two from Grand Blank, 10th grader, Brooklyn Buzzard. In lane three from Grand Blank, 11th grader, Sarah Hartwell. In lane four from Dow High, sophomore Catherine Gray. In lane five from Grand Blank, senior Julia Groves. In lane six from Dow High, sophomore Sierra Brooks. So mm. let's see how this race goes. Uh, very close, some fast times going out. First 25, or first 50 rather, all except for lane six, under 30 seconds, but 36, 30.27 uh, 30 uh, for lane six, so it's, uh, these girls are swimming out uh, some some incredible 100 times here. As uh, this is this is an all-out sprint for them. They understand that they're scoring points for their team, and these are very valuable points when it all comes together at the end uh, for their schools. So, Grand Blank and Dow High School battling it out in this heat. I think that'll be make it a good race for them. It's always good when they've got some good competition in the pool, makes them work a little bit harder, especially when you've got some people that are right up next to you. Keeps your pace up, keeps you ahead. Dow High in lanes four and six. Those are uh, sixes at the top of your screen. So the Dow Looks High like leading right now is lane cap. three. Very, very close race. Yes. Woo, Sarah Hartwell. So yep. this last 50 is going to determine it all. we got Sarah Hartwell and Katherine Gray in lanes three and four. Lots of good races here. Looks like lane four is keeping up with lane one, though. Lane one is actually uh, Oh, yeah, lane one. Grand oh, yes, 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 yes. Lane one from Grand Blank. That's Autumn Wolcott. She just swam a 34. Come on. This is going to be a photo finish. This is going to be a photo finish. 
Looks lane like lane one. one. Autumn Down Wilcott there, from Grand Link. She's yeah. a freshman. Nice Down job. High in lane four with also a 206.89. And third place from Grand Link, 207.05. So uh, very close there between those two. That was a close three. race. Yeah, Great race. Yep. Wow. We will have another heat of this one. Heat three. That's right. As they so. get ready for this next. Oh, there's the replay. Oh, we just saw the replay. Okay. Yeah. So I gotta pay attention to that screen a little bit more, then we'll know yeah, that there's a replay. Been, uh, <laughs> yep. So uh, there's uh, Ella Roberson. Uh, great swimmer, great has swimmer. Has to be the and favorite going into this heat here, uh, heat three of three. And she's already uh, got her D2 uh, cut, state, state cut time. State time, yeah, her, her best is uh, 158.81. Oh, here's the music, I can hear the music. Generally, the uh, fastest swimmer of this particular event gets to pick the song. And in years past over at SVSU, there was the parade in um, with the sign and the, you know, the girls are behind and it's very serious looking. It always uh, it reminds me of boxing. We've got the serious people with their hoods up and they're ready to go, very serious. All, All right, right, here we the go, there's the whistle. We're about to get started. We've got our starter down there. Mr. Starter. Mr. Starter. Mr. Starter. Well, I was going to say, I think it is a Mrs. Starter today. There are three referees today, which is a good thing to have. One on either side of the pool, one at the end of the pool, and we're off. Okay, in lane one from Davison, Emerson Airway. In lane two from Grand Blank, sophomore Ellie Berry. In lane three from Dow High, Ella Roberson. In lane four from Grand Blank, 11th grader, Lexi Roth. In lane five, Dow High senior, also making her state cut time, is Mac Thackery. She's also the team captain. In lane six, Grand Blank's Lydia Ferguson. And you know, Mac Thackery, who is a senior, we just had our senior night, she is uh, planning to major in biochemistry, either at Western or at Michigan State. Ella Roberson out to a pretty good lead here, as expected. She's making her 100 time at 55.71, setting the pace out there. She's on track to, to go uh, very, very low here today if she can keep this up. Looks like the adrenaline's working for her. The race is really for second place uh, between lanes five, and with four, Mac. lanes four and five, and uh, two, in, and lane two. Two, four, two, four and five. five. And yes. We've got Mac in there, we've got Lydia from Grand Blank in there, and Grand Blank's Ellie Berry as well. Ella Roberson All going for that second place. Herself. Although I'll have to say, lane six is catching up too over there. Lane six is, oh, that is Lydia Ferguson. Okay, she's Ella also with a commanding Emerson lead Arrow, in this event, the Saginaw Valley League champion is going to be crowned in the 200 freestyle. It's just a matter of how low can she go. Very, very Look big lead, lead for Ella Look Roberson. Look at that lead, wow. 155.97, wow. a new PR she for Ella her Roberson. Own time. Here's Holy the finish, cow. here's the finish. Very close. Another two, second Matt place Thackery, senior for Dow from High. Dow High. Nicely done. Third place, 202-21. Uh, very nice. Good times. Good times. Oh, and I did I did miss misspeak. Mac does not have the state time in that one. I was looking at a different spot on here. Yeah. But boy, Ella really she crushed her own time. That was a Excellent very nice job. Time. You know, and in swimming too, when you can cut one second, that's big. And she cut more than three, she cut about three seconds, just about three seconds. It's pretty yeah, incredible. Good job, good swim. Very nicely done. All right, up next is the, uh, we're gonna have some awards. We're gonna have, yep, we're gonna have some awards for the 200 mm -hmm. medley yeah. relay. They're placing the medals and uh, and signs on the podium. It looks on the starting blocks. On the starting blocks, yeah, which like is different uh, than years past. Well, we they, have typically they had. Them and yeah. shake their hands. Yeah, and, uh, not anymore. Well, at least not yet, but uh, you know, we're here and, and loving every minute of it. So these are gonna be the awards for the 200 medley relay. And we can probably pull that up with our... Grand Blank High School, the time of 150.44 were the winners of the 200 yard medley relay. And then we had that great finish, that great race between Midland Dow and 
at Powers Catholic High School, uh, both finishing with a one. Four tenths of a second difference. And Four tenths. That was a fun race to watch after after 200 complete. yards of swimming to come down to four tenths of a second that yeah. was uh, and then really you had a close uh, race between four and five and six places good race all around it looks like they're setting up for the top six teams to be announced i believe the top eight teams will get a medal though yeah. the top six are being put on the blocks Got it. and they are naming each of those gals there so it's the grand blank a team. There's the sixth place winner being announced. Western. Who are in the city Western? Fifth place. Mount Pleasant High Mount School. Pleasant. That was Chloe Campbell, Nola Boyle, AC Miller, and Ella Connors. I'm trying to listen to Jeff. Davison. Davison, Davison High School. That was Grace Dorman, Lily Smith, Maddie Heldy, and Sydney Dyler. Powers Catholic. Powers Catholic. And that was Laura Wejek, Abigail Mers, Lauren Taylor, and Olivia Kamara. And then Dow High taking second place, Chloe Stafford, Lauren Regard, Emmy Sauer, and Kaylee Jackson. And the champion today for the 200-yard medley relay from Grand Blank. We have Sophie Curtis, Sarah Hartwell, Amelia Ayers, and Allison Kitos. Congratulations to Grand Blank for taking first place in that. What a great race. Good swimming by the, all. After they get the pictures, we need the first that team is of the 200 high M. Next. Uh, next is the 200 yard individually individual medley. Uh, so it's uh, one person swimming all four strokes, 50 yards of, of each. You have to be skilled in every stroke to be able to be Which successful. Which is not always easy. In this. Uh, usually there's one or two that are the, the athlete's Achilles heels. Uh, the freestyler doesn't always make for a good breaststroker or or the butterfly seems to be difficult for a lot of swimmers uh, myself included so the IM was out for me I was a, a distant swimmer but it sounds <laughs> the like breaststroke is really the one that takes the longest and is usually the one most challenging for the swimmers really and that happened to be one of my favorite strokes but the do I know if I could have competed like this I don't know the race could be <laughs> won or lost certainly in that third leg of the breaststroke we will have three heats of this. We are beginning heat one here. The whistle has been blown. Heat one of three. The referee is getting them on the blocks. And here we go. Okay. Heat one in lane one from Grand Blank. We have sophomore Delaney Mackey in lane two from Grand Blank. Sophomore Kaylee Detch in lane three from Dow High. We have junior Naomi Hoyer in lane four from Dow High. We have freshman Lindsey Humber in lane five from Grand Blank. We have Ava Seeloff in lane six from Powers Catholic. We have freshman Grace Erpelding. So after doing the butterfly, they flip over onto their back and do the 50 yards of the backstroke. Uh, lane three, it looks like uh, has a pretty good you know, pace set up. She ran a swam a 31 uh, 50 butterfly, so that was a very good time. And now she's hanging on to that league in her backstroke event uh, race here. But, uh, you know, as we mentioned, it all comes down usually to this breaststroke 50, which is about to happen right yeah, now. So let's see what she's Right now we've got girls. Naomi Coyer. She's leading uh, as the best. there. Here she uh, goes. It's a okay. very tight race. Very tight between two of our Dow High gals, mm -hmm. Naomi and Lindsay. Naomi Coyer and Lindsay Humberg in lanes three and four. And some of these lanes are a little hard for us to see. Lane one is a hard one for us yeah, to see. Yeah, she's I'll right in it. I mean, it's, it's anybody's. It's anybody's race, really. Uh, they're doing well. Yeah, it's We've got lane six over there. They're glad to be uh, have Powers the butterfly Catholic. out of the way. I can tell you that. The breaststroke's a nice kind of easy, you know, break before they have to sprint that last 50 well, for the win. Well, they can catch their breath. I wouldn't say it's an easy here one. Here we come for the, okay, for the win. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Lane three. 
From Dow High, Lindsay. No, no, that's uh, Naomi. Naomi Coyer yeah. from Dow High. Leading the pack She's there. She's been she leading the whole well. time, coast to coast here. Uh, if she can hang on here for this 50, she's she's going to post a good score, a good time, rather, uh, and uh, help her team score some points. And we've got Dow High's Lindsey Humberg yeah. right It's a very close her. race between lane one and lane, one. And lane four for second place. Lane one is a Grand Blank yes, sophomore, very close. Delaney Mackey. It looks like the uh, Grand Blank Who's swimmer gonna is going to edge. And she's going to take second she's place. She's going to take second place, yep. yep over the so Dow, Dow took swimmer. first and third. Grand Blink took second. Nicely done. All, all right. right. Nice race, ladies. Nice Good race. Job. Nice race among all. All right, we will have a second heat of this in just a moment. The girls will warm down once again as they do a 25 warm down. Here's the replay finish there. Look at that. That's for finish second for second place. place. Yeah, that, Boy. That, uh, Grand Blink. Yeah, just that was. Just out of touch there. Uh, it was a great race there. Uh, that was Delaney Mackey from Grand Blank. Nicely done. Good swimming. Good Nicely swimming. Done. So let's look at that uh, 231.72. Was, uh, she strapped a lot of time from her entry. Uh, that was oh, a very, nicely done. Wow. very good swim for Naomi. I'm yeah. sure that she has to be very pleased after that performance. Oh, uh, that's excellent. And you know, and a lot of times in swim, even if you don't win, it's about your personal best, mm -hmm. oftentimes. All right, here we go with heat two. And they are on the blocks. The starter is about to get them going. And they're in the pool. Okay, so let's find out who's swimming. In lane one from Davison, we have Maddie Heldy. In lane two from Dow High, we have Aaliyah Kassipo. In lane three from Grand Blank, we have Lucia Grasso. In lane four from Midland High School, senior Abby Haig. In lane five from Grand Blank, junior Avery Rosebro. In lane six from Grand Blank, freshman Chloe Emmendorfer. All right, so uh, they're on to their backs now after the 50 butterfly lane two posting a 28. Uh, that was a nice, a nice time for, for that. She's maintaining her lead for Dow High in the 50 backstroke. Uh, who's that swimmer in lane two? Lane two is Aaliyah from Dow High. Aaliyah Kassapesh. Is she a freshman? She is a freshman. Wow, very nice, uh, very nice swimmer there. It takes a lot of, of uh, skill to be a, uh, good in all four strokes as a freshman to be in the second heat. Well, and just to call out one of the seniors who happens to be in the pool, Abby Haig from Midland High School. Mm -hmm. We had senior night the other night, and Abby, she's been swimming for Midland High for the last four years. Her favorite stroke is the breaststroke, so we'll see how she's pulling out for this one. Yeah, looks nice. Like the, the Grand Blank swimmer just pulled ahead in lane three. Uh, we have uh, Lucia Grasso. Uh, Lucia just taking Grasso, the all right, oh, but from wait, uh, Grand Blank. Comes. Freshman as well. Yeah, but uh, Aaliyah is catching up. It's going to be, uh, it's. It is a race. Three, it looks like a. Oh boy, a really we've got nice all three, three of them right there. Race here between lanes. Four, two, three, and four. And they're in the pool oh boy, for the 50. Oh boy, here we go for the final part. This is where it starts to really test your. All right, we've got Aaliyah in lane yeah. two. We've got Lucia in lane three, and Abby in lane four from Midland High. Four. All right, come on, girls. This Let's is, see who's going to take this crowd. out. We're going to watch that board closely. The listen. crowd is going. Oh, this is anybody's race. Holy cow, who is going to out-touch you? Looks like the Grand Blank. Looks like a Grand Blank win. Lane, lane three. Lane three. That was Lucia Grasso, freshman from Grand Blank. All three within a second. Uh, two wow. 24s for all three of those swimmers. Aaliyah took third from Dow High. And oh, here's the replay if you want to take a look at that one more time. 2.22.42. Wow, 42, what a race. 2.24.68. Abby Haig, though, senior from Midland High, very well taking second place. Seven, Nicely five. done. Nicely done. All right, final heat coming up of the 200 individual medley. Here's their music. You can hear that again. Always fun to hear as the girls are ready. Jeff Newman's reading their names. They decided to go this way with it this year with the uh, music instead of the marching. He's reading their names over the music that they picked, so that's kind of fun. 
least they get to hear their song. It's always fun to see who's doing All right, what. So heading into this final heat here, we've got uh, well, the best time posted by uh, Sophie Curtis in lane three with a with a 2:12, and uh, you know, she's going to be there. she's going to be one to watch. But uh, certainly the power swimmer Abigail Mertz. Yep. Could uh, could jump in there and oh, for uh, sure. Well, and really anybody. I mean, those yeah. final heats on, on this kind of day. And we're about to get started. They're on the blocks. And they're getting ready. And they're off. Okay. In lane one. Or the championship. Uh, in the lane one. IM. From Powers High School is sophomore Lauren Taylor. In lane two. From Dow High is junior Chloe Stafford in lane three from Grand Blank is Sophie Curtis in lane four from Powers Catholic is junior Abigail Mers in lane five is Davison's Maddie Flynn and lane six from Saginaw Heritage is junior Ella Banning. All right, some really good times there. Uh, 27.64 for Sophie in the uh, butterfly. Now they flipped over onto their backs and and Sophie is uh, continuing to extend her lead. The very strong backstroke there, uh, really good underwaters uh, on that turn. So she's out to a big lead, but as expected, the race is really going to be for second place. Well, you never know when as we get to these other, other strokes, if it's their specialty, they can take off with that one. Right. Get those breaststrokers that do really well, or you get a butterflyer. Well, at this point, they're all just trying to close down on Sophie, who has a commanding lead in this event from Grand Blank. Sophie Curtis, she is a junior from Grand Blank. And she does have the, the uh, state time for Division I, because they're a Division I school. She does have that state time, so she'll be competing in the states. Which we'll talk about that later. She's but about ready to make her turn and head into the 50 freestyle. Here she but goes. Here's a close race up there, and that's a Dow. That's that Flint Powers Catholic uh, swimmer in lane four. That is the close, junior, Abigail Mers. Trying to close the gap. We've got a bit of a race for third place, it's going to look like, uh, with currently in the lead for third, our Dow High swimmer, Chloe. Chloe Stafford. Mm, yep. yep. All right, nicely done. First place, lane three from Grand Blank, Sophie Curtis, who will take two. Two, lane four, Abigail Mersh from Powers Catholic. Very nice. She's a junior. 208 for that champion. Very nice. And taking time. third place, Chloe Stafford from Dow High, junior. Way so to go, we'll girls. see a couple of we'll see all three of those girls next year. They're all juniors. They'll only get better. Here's the replay. Here's first place. Hopefully yeah. we'll see the uh, replay in there she, for uh, shaved second four seconds. place. Oh, nicely done. Four seconds. That's huge. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Sometimes you just, oh. It's a very fast pool today. Lots of uh, tapering that has happened over the last couple of weeks. For those of you that don't know, tapering is where swimmers actually swim less in practice. But their times improve because they're actually uh, not so sore from all of those grueling swim practices. Well, next we're going to be having seventh place from Grand Blaine, Bidia Ferguson. Seventh place, we just announced. In sixth from Midland Down, Miss Catherine Gray. In fifth place, fifth place. Blank, Autumn, Autumn Wolcott. Wolcott. And in, in fourth place from Grand Blank, Lexi Roth. Lexi from Grand Blank in third place. In third from Grand Blank, Ellie Berry. In second from Midland Down, senior and captain Mackenzie Thacker. I'm trying to look at these scores. Oh, yeah. Let's see what I can do. Oh, here we go. From Dow High School, our first place Saginaw Valley champion is Ella Roberson with a time of 155.97. She dropped 2.84 seconds. Very nicely done, Ella. Excellent job. 
and she's a sophomore. So we'll be hanging on to her. Nicely done. That was a good swim there. She, okay, uh, now it's, you know, now coming up our next event, event four. Hang on. 50 freestyle. People. I love you better the 53, watch right? closely because this gonna is be fast. fast. Yeah, this is the all out sprint, right? The Gotta all be a out sprint. Drop dead sprinter. And it's over before you know it. Uh, it's really fun to, to be in the pool when this event is happening. The noise that these girls make when they're chewing up the water is, uh, you gotta be up to speed instantly. And instantly. you have to maintain that speed. And, uh, and it, sometimes they don't even breathe. Yeah. Oftentimes they get right in that water and just go, okay, air. here we go. We're starting with, we have three heats of this. And they're on the blocks and they are in the water. In lane one from Midland High School junior, Maya Hacker. In lane two from Bay City Western, senior, Abigail Harned. In lane three from Dow High junior, Lauren Burgard. In lane four, Graham Blake. Leah Girls lane five is Allie Miller. In lane six, Lauren Auger. All right, here we go. We got a, it's a close race. Let's watch the finish. Looks like Lane, lane two. two. Lane two. Abigail Harned from Bay City Western. She's a senior. Right, Nicely okay. done, Abigail. Here's the replay. Five of the six swimmers. Wow, look at that. 27 look at that. seconds. Five that of was, the six. Lauren within a was second. right there. That's just like a boom boom. Within a second Holy of each other. Cow. Five Not even a second. First place and sixth place, less than a second. Yes, oh yeah, yeah, that is yeah. A, that is a good looking scoreboard right there. Wow. Very nice times too for the third heat. If that's what the third heat brings, I can't wait for the next two. I know, right? This is gonna be amazing. All right, heat two of three. I will read these names much quicker this yeah, time. Yeah, you're gonna have to get through those. Uh, 27 seconds is not a lot of time. No, it is not. You know what, maybe I'll just start here right now. In lane one, we will have from Mount Pleasant, a senior, Chloe Campbell in lane two from Dow High, so Sophia Sauer, and they're getting started, so I'm gonna be a little bit quieter. In lane there, oh, there they go. Okay, in lane three from Saginaw Heritage, sophomore Tina Nickelberry. In lane four from Powers, Emily Beggar. In lane five from Powers, Olivia Camara. And in lane six from Grand Blank, Annabeth Toronicki. In lane three, the Heritage swimmer, uh, Tina Nickelberry is out in front. Oh, she's doing well, she's doing well. Lane three. Saginaw Again. Heritage looks like they're going to oh, take home yep, the championship yep. with or the, at least the, the first place in that heat with a 25-54. Very nice time. That sophomore, Tina Nickelberry from Saginaw nice Heritage. Fast. That 25 is a very fast time. Uh, these girls are swimming some incredible times here this afternoon as we get ready for the third and final heat as we crown a champion. I can't wait to see what kind of times are going to be put up. Maybe the champion will come from that heat with that 25.54, very nice time uh, for Tina. Very we've got good. our music, okay. Apparently we've got the ACDC plan for our top swimmer from Dow High. In lane one from Dow High, Morgan Retzloff. In lane two from Saginaw Heritage, Hannah Fleming. In lane three from Dow High, Kaylee Jackson. In lane four from Grand Blank, Allison Quitos. In lane five from Grand Blank, Estella Grasso. And in lane six from Dow High, Erin Murphy. Here we go. Right. This should be exciting, fast, and whew, who knows what'll happen. I expect there to be a, a very loud cheering going on from all of those schools as we crown a champion in the 53. And Kaylee Jackson, right now, she also holds the state cut on this too, so she's made it to states. So she is the fast swimmer in there with the fastest time. Here we go, all right. Uh, Who has the best turn? Oh boy, oh boy. It's gonna come down, starts and turns. Starts and turns, starts and turns. <laughs> Fast race, here we go. Oh boy, these girls are close. Let's just watch. I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching. Dow High. All right. 25 Kaylee Jackson flat. with a 25 flat. She beat her on time, going 25.29. Nicely nice. done. Very Kaylee good. Jackson, very good. Kaylee Jackson also happens to be one of our seniors. Senior. And this is her favorite event, as she stated on yeah. senior night. To go out as a senior with the Saginaw Valley 
title in the 50 free has to be a, a goal that she's been working for for, for a very, very long time. She has to be extremely proud of herself, and I'm sure her parents are and family and friends are as well. Congratulations. Well, and then Saginaw Heritage took second in that heat from Hannah Fleming, and in third was Allison Quitos from Grand Lake. So very nice race between all of them, all, all close times. Kaylee Jackson off to her next adventures as the 50-yard freestyle Saginaw Valley League champion. Looks and like we they're are announcing doing our 200 medley awards. Mm -hmm. 200 individually medley awards. The individual medley awards. Third place, and he's on, which place is he on? In fourth place, from Powers Catholic, Lauren Taylor. And in third place, from Dow High, Chloe Stafford. She's a junior. In second place, from Powers Catholic, Abigail Mers. And in first place, your 2020 Saginaw Valley League champion in the 200-yard individual medley relay is Sophie Curtis from Grand Blanca Junior. So we'll that be seeing her again. That was an amazing swim. Nice she, race. She did. She won that heat handily. Uh, very nice swim again, uh, Sophie. Very, very well done. We will be having a pretty long break here coming up. Uh, so uh, it's going to, to be a 15-minute um, variety. So uh, as we uh, as we go to break, we want to remind you that we will be coming back after this 15 minutes with the conclusion of the meet. We have uh, up first after the break is going to be the girls' 100-yard butterfly. But before we go to break. Uh, we want to remind you that you can watch replays of this Saginaw Valley swim, girls swim finals meet on the MCTV network. MCTV's channels can be found on Charter Spectrum channels 188 to 191 in Midland and through channel 99 on AT&T's Uverse. This game is also live streaming on MCTV Network's Community Voices YouTube channel in beautiful high definition. Check out MCTV's website at cityofmidlandmi.gov slash mctv for playback dates and times, or follow us on Facebook to learn more. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We're going to take a little break here and uh, wow, what a what a start to the meet! Huh? I cool can't wait to see what happens uh, as this goes on. But uh, for Renee and I, we're going to be uh, signing off until uh, we're going to take a little Just a break. Just a few minutes. All right. Thank you. The major benefit for, um, besides the entertainment value, because we've got a lot of different kinds of entertainment people can do, and it's very creative. Um, I think the main thing is for nonprofit organizations to get the word about, out about services that they offer to the community um, and things that they do for the, their clients in, in different ways. And I've done several different shows in that vein. I did a, a Big Brothers Big Sisters show. I uh, did a Recycle This about recycling in when we got curbside recycling started in Michigan, in Midland. So there are many different facets, I think, of, of information and um, that you can get out to the public. And that's a big help to the community. Public Access Facility gives you the opportunity to engage your community with your own television show. The content on our Community Voices channel ranges from talk shows, variety hours, and nonprofit informational specials. With the power of video continuing to gain steam, there's no better facility to produce your own content. 
check out the City of Midland website or give us a call for more information. The sooner you do, the sooner you can make your own show. Well, uh, MCTV has uh, benefited the uh, Midland community because there are a lot of things going on in this town and uh, a lot of positive things, a lot in entertainment. Uh, where I work uh, at uh, Creative 360, we recently had a uh, series uh, about people who are 80 years old and older and the positive uh, contributions they've made to our community. And while I was filming them, uh, watching these uh, presenters discuss their lives, I learned a lot. And I know the community did too when they saw it on MCTV and it enhanced our all community just to learn the history of how things came about in this town. Looking for a new hobby? How would you like to create your own television show? Call Midland Community Television at 837-3474 to sign up for our next orientation studio workshop. You will learn how to use a studio camera, learn how to edit on a computer, or even be the host of your very own TV show. Don't wait, sign up today. Call MCTV at 837-3474 to sign up. Midland Community Television, your community voice. Well, I can only imagine the benefit to the community is through what you hear on the streets as far as did you see or there was information that I didn't know about. It would be Midland County Cancer Services or uh, the police department or city hall meetings, uh, commission meetings. And so it's the news of the community on television. Midland only has one television station. MCTV is the station for Midland. Looking for a new adventure? How about an opportunity to volunteer in the community? Then come down to MCTV, Midland Community Television. You can learn how to use a studio camera, run equipment in the control room, or be the host of your own TV show. Call MCTV at 837-3474 to find out how you can become a volunteer producer or access user. I don't recall the exact details of getting involved, but I know that it was, uh, I had an interest in television. I had an interest in producing programs and commu uh, Midland Community Television was a perfect outlet for that and has been for the last 30 years, a way for somebody to uh, become involved with the production of television programs and, and saying what you want to say, showing what you want to show with very few limits on it, and then having that actually be uh, produced and sent out to the community at large. local public access facility gives you the opportunity to engage your community with your own television show. The content on our Community Voices channel ranges from talk shows, variety hours, and nonprofit informational specials. 
With the power of video continuing to gain steam, there's no better facility to produce your own content. Check out the City of Midland website or give us a call for more information. The sooner you do, the sooner you can make your own show. MCTV gives you a chance to to expand your um, your horizons in terms of what you can express, that the rest of the community can benefit from witnessing it, and it gives you a chance to um, enrich others through your enrichment. I think that's really important. Whether you're an artist, whether you're a musician, whether you have a passion for political ideas or spiritual ideas, MCTV gives a, a, a voice to that, an opportunity for your voice to be heard. All right, hello again once, everyone, and welcome back to the 2020 Saginaw Valley League Girls Swimming and Diving Championships. What a first part of the meet. We're back from a little great break. The girls are out of the pool, and we're about ready to start the 100-yard butterfly event number six. The butterfly is the prettiest stroke and the prettiest race to watch when swam correctly. It takes a lot of strength and coordination to swim this event very well. It's a really uh, the epitome of, of power and beauty. All right, and here we go. There will be three heats of this race. And they are on the blocks. And they are off. In lane one, we have from Midland High School, Katie McGovern in lane two from Mount Pleasant. A.C. Miller in lane three from Dow High, senior Yazzie Safadi in lane four from Grand Blink, Chloe Emmendorfer in lane five from Saginaw Heritage, freshman Jaden Porter in lane six from Bay City Western, sophomore Maddie Fournier. Wind swam well some of the times here and the 50 yard butterfly can resemble those of the freestyle. Most of the speed and power comes from the kick. It's a very powerful kick, appropriately named the Dolphin Kick because of the similarities Absolutely. to the Dolphin. So it looks like uh, out front here we have lane two, but it's very close. This is anybody's last Three and four 25 and, and here. Six. Here's the finish. Oh boy, here we go. It's. This is close. This is close. Keep your eye. Look at lane six out there. Lane six is. Getting close to lane six, lane four, lane five, lane three. Oh, uh, here it comes, the oh winner boy. of the heat. Here we go, Who's here we go. Who's it gonna be? Oh, Looks wow. like lane four. Lane four, Leah, Leah Groves. Groves from Grand yeah, Lake. She's a sophomore. And Second place up top of your lane screen, six lane six. From yep. Midland High. That was Maya Hacker. Hacker. And third place, Lauren Burgard from Dow High. Congratulations, ladies. Very nicely done. There's your replay. Especially seeing that second place finish. Whew. Second and third. Yeah, top of the screen there, uh, your second place finish. That was pretty nice. We will have another heat of this in just a moment. All right, the girls are swimming down from their uh, from their 100-yard butterfly, four links to the pool. And uh, these girls are tired, I can guarantee you that. That's, uh, they gave it their all, some very good times. 113.70, or 112.76 rather, uh, the winning time there. Okay, we are about to start heat two here of the 100 butterfly. Well, we were reading the names from the 50. Oop, we were. Sorry about that. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, what, you know what? We went back to that. We started off in the right spot. There we go. All okay, right, here we go. heat two of the 100 yard butterfly. In lane one from Midland, Alyssa Rex. In lane two from Graham Blake Jr., Avery Rosegrove. In lane three from Davison, Emerson Irway. In lane four from Powers Catholic, Hannah Erpelding. In lane five from Powers Catholic, Emma Picotney. And in lane six from Grand Blake, sophomore Delaney Mackey. 
All right, so after the first 50 there, uh, in first place at 29-39, lane three, Emerson Irway from Davis. In lane three, lane four She's is pretty close there. She's continuing her lead, but it's a very close between uh, her and lane four. Lane four from Powers Catholic is Hannah Urpelder. Yeah, very close race between Hannah and Emerson. Looks like it's gonna stay close still a little bit there. Here's Here they the finish. come. All right, taking first place Emerson. in lane three, Emerson Irway from Davison. Taking second place in lane four, Hannah Erpelding. And in third place was lane one, Alyssa from Midland High. Yeah, 104.56, nice time there, girls, from Emerson. And nice time, but it's good swim. All right, last heat. Last heat as they warm down. Here's, oh, but we just saw the replay there. If we wanted to, uh, we could talk about some scores here now that we're kind of halfway through the meet. Here's yeah. our team score so far. Looks so like a tight race between uh, Midland in, Down. In 10th place, we've got Lapeer with 24 points. In 9th place, we have Bay City Central with 26. In 8th place, we have Mount Pleasant with 35. In seventh, we have Midland High with 59. In the sixth, Bay City Western with 62. In fifth, Davison with 78. In fourth, Saginaw Heritage with 79. In third, Powers Catholic with 120. In second place, Dow High with 270. And in first place, the defending champion, Grand Blank with 283. Here's the final heat of the 100-yard butterfly with uh, Flint Powers, uh, Lara. Swimmer to watch there. In okay, in lane one from lane Powers Catholic, we have Lauren Taylor. In lane two from Grand Blank, freshman Amelia Ayers. In lane three from Powers Catholic, it's junior Lara Wejek. In lane four from Dow High, uh, we have really freshman nice Emmy change. Sauer. In lane five from Dow High, we have Aliyah Kesapit. And in lane six from Powers Catholic, we have Hannah Pocotny. Very nice turn there, good start for for that Flint Powers swimmer, Lara. She is uh, doing what she does best here in the 100-yard butterfly. And watch her underwaters on this turn. Watch how far she gets down the pool while still under the water. That's just an amazing She's going turn. That flag. Wow, very, she does a very nice, nice turn right there. Just before those red dots, she's popping up, which is good. And very, wow, look at that. Finish. Commanding Holy lead. Cow. She's going to finish with a time wow. of 56 wow. 59. She cut time. Very, Nicely very good. done. Yeah, very Not very quite a one. full. Uh, Second place went yeah. to uh, lane two, Amelia. Amelia Ayers from Grand Blank. Okay, freshman. Very yeah. nice, very nice. Look at that finish there. A lot of 101s, a couple of them under and a minute. And third place looks like it went to uh, Emmy from Dow High. Nicely done. A meet record, okay. A meet record that's from our SVL first place swimmer. That's record there. That, uh, that's a record that uh, has stood for a very, very long time and uh, those records are hard to come by. So lots of fast times here today in Dow High's pool. It, uh, it's a and that was the lane three swimmer, right? From Powers Catholic? Yes, 56, yep. 59. Lara, Lara Wejack from Powers Catholic that's in Flint. Nicely done. That's an F SVL record. Uh, she actually broke her own record from last year where she swam a 57-21. Holy moly. So uh, congratulations, impressive. Lara, breaking her own Saginaw Valley <laughs> League record. That is incredible. Good yes, for her. Yes. Good for her. And she's a junior. She's, she's only, only a junior. A she's going to, wow. Yeah, can't That's, wait. Yeah. They're getting ready to do the stronger. awards for the 50 uh, freestyle. 50 freestyle. Tomorrow. In seventh place for the 53 from Midland Dow, Sophia Sauer. Sophia Sauer. In sixth place for Midland Dow, Aaron Murphy. Sixth place was Aaron from Dow. In fifth from Grand Blank High School, Grand Lake. Stella Grasso. Grasso. In fourth place in fourth from Grand Blank, Ellison Kitos. Kitos. In third place from third Heritage place. High School, Heritage. Tina Nickelberry. Nickelberry. In second from Heritage, second from Anna Fleming. 
and your 53 style Saginaw Valley League champion for 2020 for Midland Dow, Kaylee Jackson. Kaylee Jackson taking the SVL 2020 championship for the 50 freestyle from Dow High. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kaylee. As Excellent we, uh, job. I remind you that it is uh, the scoring is a timed finals. So actually, uh, Tina Nickelberry taking third place there came from the second heat. Uh, from Saginaw Heritage. So it's a time final. It doesn't matter where you swim or how you swim. It's just who has the fastest time at the end. Which is a little different than normal, mm -hmm. but that's all right. Okay, we're on event number seven, the 100 freestyle. Boy, that's a sprint. That's another sprinting event. Very fast. No distance training as in the 200 yard freestyle. Just a straight out sprint. Here we go. Here we go. And three heats of this one. Okay, in lane one from Midland High School, Allie Miller. In lane two from Mount Pleasant, senior Ella Connors. In lane three from Grand Lake, Leah Groves. In lane four, Tina Nickelberry, who just got an award from Saginaw Heritage. In lane five, Lauren Auger from Davidson. And in lane six from Midland High, Maya Hacker. Yeah, starts and turns are very, very important right now. We've got uh, lane four out with 27. That's 25. Tina Nickelberry. Tina is uh, trying to trying to maintain that pace. Uh, you go out fast and you try and maintain that speed in the second 50, the second half of the race, but uh, it can prove very, very difficult to do. It looks like uh, Tina is out to a Tina bit of a lead. Tina has a nice it, lead. This could be a, a nice finish in the second place in lane six and in lane three and lane one. So let's watch the finish. There's Tina coming in. Tina Nickelberry. Now here lane six place. up at the top, oh, wow. and followed by lane three and Maya lane Hacker one. Maya Hacker taking second in that one, and taking third was lane three, Leah Gross from Grand Blank. Here's your replay for 54. first place, and watch this second place finish, second and third. Up top, lane six. Even lane one was coming in tight on that one too. That was a close race. That lane one was Allie Miller. 58-54 for Tina, nice time. Nicely done. Okay, we're going into heat two on this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That 100 freestyle, that's our, our daughter's favorite. She likes that one. She's getting better. Her best. She ended with her best time of the season, so she was pretty excited. Yeah. Okay, heat number two of three. 55-39 required to make the D2 state cut. Let's see if any of these girls can match that. All right, they're up on the blocks. They're about ready to get started. And here they go. And yeah, the they're in the pool. Okay, in lane one, we have from Dow High, we have Sophie Sauer. In lane two, from Powers Catholic, we have Emily Bagot. In lane three, we have Dow High's Kaylee Jackson. In lane four, we have Dow High's Claire Humberg. In lane five, Dow High's Morgan Resloff. And in lane six, from Grand Blank, Annabeth Powernicki. All right, looking like lane three out to a bit of a lead there from Dow High. That's, uh, That's Kaylee Jackson, Kaylee Jackson, Jackson the, the 50 freestyle champion. Yeah, senior. Uh, so she set a pace of 26.94 there in the first 50. She's going to try and keep that pace. Uh, as best she can here. Let's see a turn. Very nice, nice turn, turn there. Nice turn, nicely done. Looking good, like uh, looking like she's going to win this heat. You want to come out the of The race that again turn. is for second place. Four girls in the position to take second place. Let's watch this finish for second place. Okay, we've got Kaylee Jackson taking first, but who's going to get second? Looks like lane one. No, lane, no two. lane two. Lane two, then lane three. Lane two. Lane, lane two. two is uh, Emily Bagot. Lane two. And then lane one with Sophia Sauer. All right, very nice, very nice finish there. 56.82 is the time done. to beat. Okay, here's our final heat of this race. Okay, it looks like a couple of girls could uh, best their state qualifying times that they already have posted. We've got two state qualifiers. One from Dow High. Oh, and one, the Dow High, she has the D2. Ella Roberson has the time for that one. Yep. Sophia Curtis from Grand Blank looks like she has, she is close to that cut for D1 because they're a Division One school, but she does have the D2 time, so that's good. And then also a gal from Grand Blank, one to watch as well. She has a D3 time right now, but could very well do very well in this, uh, this heat. Could be here some state go. times coming here. Swimmers are up on the blocks, and they are about ready to go. 
And they are getting ready and off to a start. In lane one from Grand Blank, sophomore Ellie Berry. In lane two from Grand Blank, Lexi Roth. In lane three from Dow High, Ella Roberson. In lane four from Grand Blank, Sophia Curtis. In lane five from Saginaw Heritage, Hannah Fleming. And in lane six is Emerson Jocelyn. All right, looking like Sophie Curtis out to a bit of a lead for Grand Blank. But it's a close race. It could be anybody's race. Sophie Curtis there in lane four. You never though, know what happens on those incredible last. Incredible turns. Watch her flip turn here as she just extends her lead past the other swimmers because of her beautiful underwaters. Ooh. But there's Dow Ooh. High swimmer in lane three. That's Ella Roberson. Ella Catch Roberson giving her a run for her money. Come on, She's Ella. not letting her get away. Come on, Ella. Good swim, Ella. Grand Nicely Bank. done. Right. Congratulations, okay. Sophie. In lane Sophie four. Curtis. And Ella Roberson in lane three gave her a run for a And home. Sophie Curtis, she 52 looks like 84. she made her D1 cut. 51. Nicely done. 51 wow, what a cut on the time. There's your replay. Yard freestyle. Congratulations. Well, very good for Sophia Curtis. She made her state cut for that Sophie one for Division Curtis, One. Sophie Curtis, the SVL champion at an incredible 51.93. Wow, she came that, in at a 55.04. That is a time to that beat. That is a time. That is wow. going to be an only a junior from Grand Blanc. Very nice, very, very nice. Very good swim. The, the state champion swim. is uh, Claire Newman in that event. So uh, she's got uh, some big, they also came from from our division, that Saginaw Valley League. And if, if Sophie continues to swim like that, Perhaps the next state champion could also come from the Saginaw Valley League. That was a That's nice swim. Possible. That was a very good time. And, and, and congratulations to, to Ella Roberson. Okay, we are doing the, right now what you're seeing is the Butterfly Awards. In third, in third. In second place from Grand in your 2020 100 yard butterfly, butterfly second all champion, new meat record, and also Dow High School pool record, Lara Wujak. Wow. Wow, Lara Wujak, nicely pool done. Record and Holy the meat cow. Record. She said two records. As I mentioned before, she broke her own meat record from last year uh, with her time today, and but also broke the Dow High pool record. Uh, with her swim today. So congratulations to Lara. Very nicely done. All right, so up and edge is event eight, the 500-yard freestyle. You'll see when swimmers swim down, they actually have a, a teammate that is counting for them on uh, these events. There will be three heats of the 500. We are getting ready up. To get on the blocks there. The whistle has been blown by the referee, one of three refs at the Saginaw Valley Championship. We've got one on either side to watch those starts and finishes. You've got one referee at the end of the pool to watch those turns. And they're off. Okay. Right, this into is the pool. quite some, we've got some time on this race. So in lane one from Saginaw Heritage, we have junior Brooklyn. Rasulek in lane two from Dow High. We have Ashlyn Barnard in lane three from Grand Blank. Freshman Ava Seeloff in lane four from Heritage. We have senior Grace McCarthy in lane five. We have Grand Blank senior Ashley Green. And in lane six from Saginaw Heritage, senior Ella Wagner. All right, so the 500 yard freestyle is the longest event in high school swimming. Both the uh, boys and the girls here today would be swimming 20 links of the pool. So uh, you'll notice that uh, there are some counters down there. As and just maybe the to, if there, in case we have some non-swimming language people, length is just the the pool from one end to the other, and the lap yards. is all the way down, all the way back 50 yards. So, so just a little clarification. Closest, so you all know that. Uh, thing we've got to a distance swimming event in high school. Uh, there is no 800 yard or 1,650-yard uh, like there is in college and the Olympics, but uh, actually the Olympics swim in meters, so not really comparing apples to apples there, but it's an event of pure strategy, right? Uh, so how fast do you go out? Uh, do, you, uh, do you save it until the last 100? Do you just try and keep pace 
with the girl in the lane next to you as you try and, you know, best her time. You know, it's a. And I know, Dave, you have personal experience with this. This was your event in high school. Yeah, I swam the 500. Lots of lots of links and laps in practice uh, for four years of high school. I was uh, a 500-yard swimmer, and and it's just, just a different swimming style and practice altogether from the sprinters. And uh, so these girls are are trained to go the distance and to swim at a high level for six, seven minutes at a time and it's, uh, it's just a different skill so one of the things also to note is that um, there will be a bell that you'll hear you'll hear a ringing of the bell and the leader of the event with the last two laps to go will get a bell so if you hear uh, what sounds like a cowbell ringing <laughs> Thank you, uh, thank you, Dr. Jeff Newman, for uh, introducing us as uh, as the announcers for MCTV. Uh, you know, as uh, Dr. Newman is, uh, you know, the, one of the parents of, of Claire Newman, who Dow High lost last year as she graduated, and is now swimming at uh, the University of Michigan. Uh, Claire was. And Claire, uh, of, of course, is a state champion swimmer has from 2000. Several state champions from last 19. year. 19. She had the state championship in the 50 and the 100 freestyle for the right. Division II state finals. So. As well as part of the relay, right? As yes, well. as part of the relay team is the 400. In fact, the 400, uh, which Ella Roberson was in that team mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. who's one of our swimmers currently. The rest were seniors, so they've uh, graduated. But yeah, congratulations. Uh, to Claire, and I hope she's doing well at Michigan and representing Dow High. So, um, I don't see, oh yeah, we have a senior swimming in this. Uh, Grand Blanks, Ashley Green. Ashley Green. Is a senior, as well as Heritage, uh, Grace McCarthy is also a senior. So, and uh, Ella Wagner from Heritage as well. So, three And seniors. then it looks like when you look at it, I mean, Grand Blanks got a, a freshman, Ava Seeloff, good to, uh, get that talent going deep for any team. Mm -hmm. So getting her into those five, I mean. So the seniors possibly swimming their last 500 here uh, in the Saginaw Valley are in lane six, Ella Wagner. Lane five, Ashley Green at the top of your screen, those two lanes are. And then also uh, lane four, Grace McCarthy. So uh, the top of your screen as you're looking at it. Lanes are four, five, and six seniors. are seniors. And so it's a race right now between uh, lane two lane and lane four, four and, and lane five. five. Yeah, it's a, this is a race. Lane two, the Dow High swimmer. Dow High swimmer. Ashlyn uh, Bernard. Ashlyn Bernard. And, uh, and then those two seniors, as we mentioned before. So looking like uh, about 15 lengths in, it's, uh, it is a close race. So Dave, tell me, when you're doing this 500, mm -hmm. I, I'm assuming you've got some time to think. <laughs> so yeah, you've... Uh, you get a lot of time in your own are head Are you thinking here. about uh, swimming or are you thinking about other things? You're, you're really just trying to uh, fight through the pain at this point. You're on lap uh, coming up on 17 links to the pool and, and your arms are starting to ache. You're just, you're, you're, you're just concentrating on your kicks, right? Because uh, as long as your kick stays consistent and you're making that good turns, you know, that can be all the difference. The less time you have to move your arms through that water, the better. So here comes the bell. Uh, this is the bell lap here. That was. That's always when it gets exciting because sometimes mm -hmm. it's very close, and you know when that bell happens. You'll notice some of the. You'll notice the coaches with the flapping. That's oh. like the kick, kick, kick. They're hoping that their swimmer sees that, and that that's telling that swimmer go, go, go. Yeah. A lot yeah. of times it means they're close to another swimmer. They actually uh, sounded the starting sound again for the bell today. I'm not sure why, but. But Ooh, here's the finish. Five. This okay. is a close race between the Dow High swimmer in, uh, in Ashland in lane two, as well as uh, lanes four and five, Ashley Green and in Grace five, McCarthy. and Grace McCarthy in four. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the finish here. Looks like lane two is leading. Looks like Ashland is going to take first. Looks like it's a first, second, third right in a row there. 6.05, okay. 6.69. That's a very nice time. Wow. Very nice she came time. in at a 6.12. Yeah, very, very wow. nice time. Shave some time Nicely there. Nicely done, Ashlyn. 6.06.58 for second place and 6.09.76. So just a few seconds. So, uh, so yeah, lane four, Grace McCarthy, she also cut mm -hmm. six seconds. Here's your finishes. 
first and second Very and nice. third coming up. These Thank girls you. did great. That is a tough, tough, tough. Top three, uh, nice times there, nice times. Nicely done. All right, Ashlyn, Ashlyn Barnard from Dow High, High taking heat. first place in that heat. Now we get to do it all, all right, over again. Heat with two. Heat number two. Heat number two. Hopefully you're keeping track of your scores and places on Meet Mobile. If you're a swim parent, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And if you're not, you might want to check it out. Yeah. Meet Mobile is an app you can get on your phone. It's pretty easy. I think it's like, what, five bucks a year or something, six bucks. It's pretty cheap. Yeah. A couple of seniors in this heat. I'm not sure about the Davison swimmer. Yeah, we don't have her year. We know she's a high schooler. Okay, here we go. And they're in the water. In lane one, we have Maddie Haldy from Davison. In lane two, our own Dow High, Naomi Coyer. She's a junior. In lane three, Midland High's Abby Haig. In lane four from Grand Blank, Lydia Ferguson. In lane five from Grand Blank, Autumn Wolcott. And in lane six from Midland High, we have senior Katie McGovern. All right, so as these girls finish their uh, their first 50 of the 500, uh, it's a very, very tight race here between uh, those middle four lanes, lanes two through five. And in well, lane three is Abby Haig. She's the one from Midland High. She's a senior. And as we just had, you know, senior night, she um, talked about the things that she's going to be doing in the future. And her favorite memory is going to the MISCAs, which is a coach's invitational meet. A lot of times it's kind of the precursor to the states. Um, and and she's uh, like spending the day at Calvin College. So she said it was so much fun and she was proud of herself and her teammate for qualifying to attend the meet. Um, she's planning to pursue a degree in political science and economics. So we'll see what happens. It's early in the year. Yeah, but these, she's our senior uh, in there. For these girls, uh, you know, that have been swimming since they were probably seven or eight years old. And Katie as well. Old, you know, and uh, it all kind of comes down to this. Am I going to be able to swim fast enough today to make that state cut? You know, that's, uh, that's what's going through their mind. They've been tapering. They suit up with the fast suits or these tech suits. And, and uh, you know, they just give it all they've got because they know that the next time they get in here, they might have to buy a ticket. Well, in lane uh, six, we have Katie McGovern. She is also a senior from Midland High, and Katie's been swimming with the Midland High swim team for years. Her favorite stroke is the butterfly and distance freestyle. So this must be one of the races that she likes. Mm -hmm. One of her favorite memories was when she was qualified for the 100 fly at the Tri-Cities race her sophomore year. So good luck for Katie. Um, she is hoping to either attend um, McKendry University or Midland University to major in sociology or psychology. As they just finished their 200 there, you're seeing the times just a tick above two minutes. So for those of you that, you know, were watching that 100 free, you know, the, the winning time there was, was down around 55, 54 seconds. But uh, these girls are swimming at just above a minute pace on those first two 100s. And that's hard to keep up that pace over the 500-yard distance of this event. So uh, some very, very fast uh, sprints starting out there. Uh, it looks like a really nice race between lanes four and lanes five right now. Lane four, we have Lydia Ferguson. And in lane five is Autumn Woolacott. Both, Both of them from Blank. Grand Blank. Yeah, those two are Grand Blank. One's swimmers, a freshman. Uh, yep, nice Autumn in uh, lane five is the freshman. And Lydia in lane four is the junior. Yep. Lane three, though, a senior, Abby Hag. That's is, Abby, yep, yep, from Midland High. She's keeping pace. And uh, it's starting to knock on the door. Well, you never bit. know how it goes in those last laps well, of this one. This is one. the last half right yep. now. That's exactly the... Uh, where the where all I of gotta the training imagine you run out of steam. Well, your lungs start to burn for sure. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, your arms get heavy, you know, arm spaghetti, you know, like uh, like, you like a noodle. Yeah, it's it's just all sheer willpower to uh, to fight through the the six minutes of pain that is the 500 yard freestyle. <laughs> This is a nice race here. This is going to be a is, fun yeah, finish. Yeah, this is turning out to get closer and closer. We've got uh, three swimmers there, as we mentioned before, in lanes three, four, and five. 
But uh, another nice uh, little race going down at the bottom of your screen and, and up at the top between the rest of the swimmers. Yeah. But really between lanes one, lane one and, and lane two, two you've got uh, Maddie Haldy from And Naomi Coyer from Dow High. Yeah, that's a nice little race there for uh, what is uh, looking like to be uh, perhaps a fourth place. And really finish. lane six, you have Katie McGovern from Midland. She's right behind them. So yeah, yeah, fourth place nice is... Uh, but look at these three. Oh, look wow. Look at these three they coming have, right, they are right, right there. into it. This Holy is uh, going to be, so this is the last 100 right now. They just swam 400 yards, and look at how close they are, all of them at 4 minutes and 36 seconds after 400 yards of competition. we got Abby Hay, who she's the senior in lane three from 75 Midland. yards to she, go. She wants to win this, I would imagine. I mean. Abby is uh, starting to, to, to stake out a little bit. She's getting up there. Have an advantage, uh, but she lane could do five it. up at the top there. She Autumn. could do it. She could do it. This is going to be a. She's got uh, it. Both at She's the wall. Gonna, oh, the last yep. 50, here we go. Here we go. Come on, Abby. Lane three, yep, Abby, yep, yep. senior from Midland. And lane five, you've got that Autumn Wollicott from Grand Blank, a freshman. She is doing very well. Senior versus freshman senior. here. <laughs> yes, definitely. Come on, look at the Midland High team is just on their feet cheering. Cheering for Abby. Can she do it? Here comes the finish. Oh, is it going to be close? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Looks like the senior she in did lane it. three from lane. Midland High. Yeah, Abby Haig, nicely done. Congratulations. And here's your finish, your replay. Take a look at your screen. Lane five coming in second Look place. at that. That was a touch touch. That touch touch. Nice. Be less than a second. First second. Separated Whew. those 542.9 for the winner of that heat, Abby, and 543.05. 542, so she cut more than 10 seconds. More than 10. Yeah, yeah, these girls are swimming fast times. Wow, today. Here's the you know, final heat. Here, oh, here goes our final, oh, he was announcing Abby Hay, yes, as the, so the first place. In this heat, we've got lane five, Lily Campbell from Mount Pleasant. Abby hum Humber. And Mac down. Beckery, and captain of the Dow McKenzie High girls Beckery. team. And Matty Flynn from Davison, not sure what they're <laughs> Here's the final heat of the 500 yard restart. We've got, this is our third and final heat. This is going to prove to be an incredible race between Mac Thackeray and uh, the freshman Amelia Ayers from, from Grand Blank. Blank. This wow, could be a, yes. This could be a fun race to watch in lanes three and Again, four. Again, a freshman and a senior battling freshman it out. Freshman versus senior. And I'll tell you what, if you look at that last one with the freshman and the senior, mm -hmm. we're looking at Grand Blank getting some deep swimmers with that 500. Coming up for a very long time. Yep. Here we go. All right, there. Asked to get on the blocks, and they are about to be ready to go. Right. And here they go. Okay, in lane one from Davison, we have Maddie Flynn. In lane two from Dow High, we have sophomore Catherine Gray. In lane three, we have Dow High senior Mac Thackeray and captain of the team. We have in lane four, Grand Blanks freshman, that's at Amelia Ayers. In lane five, Mount Pleasant senior Chloe Campbell. And in lane six from Dow High, we have Abby Humber. She's a senior as well. Mm. So putting up uh, sub 30 seconds for those leaders in the first 50, 29.03 for Mac Thackeray and uh, 29.91 for the freshman from Grand Blank. Our alternate today was uh, Emma Dingman from Dow High. She was uh, the alternate for um, one of the Dow High swimmers. Every team, there were 20, the cut was at 20 because you have two alternates per team. So Emma Dingman was one of the alternates. Yeah, for those Dow alternates High. could become very important, you never know. especially in the era of uh, COVID 19 and the, mm -hmm. the quarantining. You never know. But uh, wow, one minute flat for Mac Thackeray. She's setting a pace of, uh, she's got a chance here if uh, she keeps this up to, uh, to set a very, very good time in the 500 yard freestyle starting to, to get a little bit of separation there so if you're the freshman if you're amelia Ayers uh, from grand blank you're you're right now you're probably thinking you know okay so it's less than a minute uh, per hundred what do i got to do over these next 400 yards to 
to keep pace. You're just trying to keep on the, the feet of the swimmer in front of you mm -hmm. because as long as you keep on the feet of that swimmer, you have a chance in the last 100 yards to make a move. And I think that's what uh, the, the freshman there, Amelia, is looking like she's doing. Do you Grand think Blank. that the lead swimmer feels the person behind them at all? Yeah, I mean, you're always taking a peek at every turn. I mean, under the water, you, you turn your head. True, And yes. you, you look, and you know, she knows, both swimmers know exactly where they're at. And, uh, and for Amelia, it's just going to be, okay, so when do I turn it on? You know, they're, they're 200 yards in to the 500-yard freestyle, coming up on the halfway point. Uh, uh, you know of the race and uh, if you're if you're the senior you know experienced uh, Mac Thackeray there you're just trying to uh, to continue to swim the race of your life so that you can uh, at least leave perhaps as the Saginaw Valley League champion in your chosen event your senior year let's see 52509 is the division two cut for that 529. Well, you know, Max got a chance at that. She came right in at a 538. Right now, they're halfway through. They're at two minutes and 40 seconds, so that would be about a 520 pace. So she is she, uh, on pace. She's on pace for that, uh, that Amelia, Division though, is cut. starting to, uh, with the second half of the race here, starting to, to close the gap. As you can see, it's getting tighter there for that first and second race. Let's see, our Division One state cut is 5-17-09. Uh, that's gonna be a tough time. That'll to be a tough time for Amelia freshman, to beat, but you so. never know, she could do it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times girls will cut you never know, you know, but 10 here, look seconds. At, look at this, it looks like the okay. Grand Blake Amelia is actually like pulling ahead now. she's edging a little ahead there. Yeah, so this is uh, where, this is where Mac has to make a decision, right? How deep does she go and how far ahead does she allow? It looks like they're starting to, uh, to really put the pressure on one another here for this Saginaw Valley League title in the 500-yard freestyle. All right, so they are approaching laps 15, which means there's 100 yards. After this 50 would be 100 yards left, and that's when the race is going to be won or lost to see if Mac Thackeray has enough in the tank to, to catch that through. freshman Amelia from Grand Blank. And earn a state cut, which would be great. All right. Amelia's ahead there. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting finish. 100 yards to go. I know after this, we will um, have some awards. Have some. Oh, here we go. 75 yards to go. The Amelia from Grand Blank is starting to extend her lead. She looks very strong, very smooth in the water. Not labored at all, but I'm sure she's feeling her lungs. Oh, there's, there's the, the bell. bell. Finally with the bell. There's the bell. Mm -hmm. All right. 50 yards to go. Amelia Ayers from Grand Blank extending her lead over Mac Daiquiri from Dow High. This is a tough race. This is a long, long tough race. 517 is the state it's cut. Not high. quite going to get there today, Amelia, but they're going to post a nice time and a nice Saginaw Valley League title for the freshman from Grand Blank, Amelia Ayers. Very good. Very nice swim there. And here comes here comes Mac Dacry in for her second place finish with a time of 5:35:17. Nine seconds tested by. Well, she did. She cut some time from her entry time. Yeah. Nice job, Mac Dacry. She came in at a 5:38. Yeah. Amelia so is gonna get cut some time here comes, there. Here comes the replay. That's uh, Amelia Ayers there coming in for Grand Blank with a time of 5:26:71. Uh, our next swimmer into the screen there is Matt Thackeray with, with her time of 535. So uh, nice swim, ladies. Congratulations to Amelia, your SVL champion in the 500-yard free. Very nicely We've done. We've got another swimmer I know after here this that's waiting to finish. To We've got uh, still uh, one swimmer left to finish. Senior Abby Humber from Dow High. From, yes, Dow High. Lane six. Abby Humbert bringing it in. She also is a 
graduating this year. Congratulations, Abby. Nice swim. Her favorite event's the 200 free, so she was definitely made for this 500 as well. 637.42. Good job. Okay. We are going to have the 100 freestyle awards here. And we're going to listen because our meat roll is not catching up as fast as yeah, I would like it to. I think to. it's. Uh, does that sometimes, but uh, let's listen to Jeff and see if we can catch up. All right, 100 yard freestyle. Let's see if I can get anything. Nope, I cannot. In event number seven, 100 freestyle, in eighth place from Saginaw Heritage, Tina Nickelberry. Tina, that's uh, Tina. Oh, Tina Nickelberry, yeah. In yep. seven, from Grand Lake High School, Ellie Berry. In sixth place, also from Grand Lake, Emerson Josman. In fifth place, from oh, Middletown, Kaylee yeah. Jackson. Kaylee Jackson. Kaylee Jackson. Kaylee Jackson. In fourth place, from Grand Blank, Lexi Roth. Lexi Roth. In third, from Saginaw Heritage, Saturday. Hannah Fleming. Uh, Hannah Fleming, Fleming yep. Yeah. In second place from Midlandau, Ella Roberson. Ella Roberson. Ella Roberson, second place. In your 2020 Saginaw Valley League 100-yard freestyle champion from Grand Lake High School, Sophie Curtis. Sophie Curtis, your 2020 nice champion for the 100 freestyle. She swam an amazing She swam race. very well. They all swam very yeah, well. Yeah. That was a close one. Congratulations, Sophie. Nicely done. Nicely right. done. It's another one for Grand Blank. Uh, they're starting to rack them up here, but uh, let's see if the next event can turn the tides, as they say. 100 yard backstroke. This backstroke. is uh, event Ooh. number 10. We are moving through this meet at a at a quite a pace. We're already on the 10th event. Uh, 100 yard backstroke. Still ranking in first place mm -hmm. is uh, Grand Blank with 463, Dow High with 419. Mm -hmm. Powers Catholic moving up to third with 207, and Davison up to fourth with 125, but Heritage right behind him with 124 points in fifth place. All right, a couple of, uh, couple of races to watch there. Grand Blank and Dow High. Let's see what happens in the 100-yard backstroke. 100 backstroke. We'll start from inside the water on this one. Uh, it's, uh, it's the only one that starts off inside the water. Besides oh, the, the uh, right medley race. I'm sorry. Oh. We, we missed 200 yard freestyle relay. 205. Oh, okay. Backstroke's coming up. This oh, is and the, this uh, just came crashing down relay. my head. The 200 yard freestyle, freestyle relay is a fast race. It's uh, fun. The 50 yards, four swimmers swimming. We've got 50 Lane yards 2, each. Lapierre. We have Alexis George, Natalie Crockett, Gabby Keel, and Michaela Ray. In Lane 3 from Mount Pleasant, Ella Connors, Olivia Guesthart. A.C. Miller and Chloe Campbell. In lane four from Bay City Western, we have Karis Nitsek, Autumn Simmer, Brianna Rozek, and Abby Harned. In lane five from Bay City Central, Mason Kalinowski and Kelsey Whitehurst, uh, Izzy Salzar, and Ember Lynn Stock from Bay City Central. All right, another fun, quick relay. Relay uh, exchanges are crucial here uh, as your swimmer dives into the water and uh, cannot touch the water before the swimmer in the pool touches the wall. So those those relay exchanges become very important. This they is cannot, the, yeah, they cannot enter the water until the other teammate has touched the wall. Yeah, so Oftentimes yeah. you'll see them start before the girl touches the wall, yeah. but as long as they don't enter the water beforehand. They are in good shape. Swimmer in the water That's time. why you have those referees on either end to watch those transitions. So teams practice these starts and turns constantly. A lot. Yes, uh, looks like a pretty commanding lead there for Lane Four is at the Western. That's Bay High City School. Western. Mm -hmm. Nice lane turn four. there. And this is 50 of 50 this for each is, girl. This is it. It's pretty this fast is the relay. Looks, looks like, like Western's, Western's got that nice heat. lead. And Mount Pleasant is right behind her. Congratulations. All right, Western took that one. That only was two Karis. Heats in this event. Yep, only two heats. Western had Karis Netsky, Autumn Simmer, Brianna Rosek, and Abigail Harned. And taking here first. comes Central. Second was Mount Pleasant, and in third place was Bay City Central. Mm, All right. Here we go. Well, up here to the final our, heat. Our here. final this heat. Is it. Just two heats and relays. 
So this uh, event really shows the depth of your sprinters that are on your team. Uh, you know, the uh, only the lead swimmer off the block uh, with the with the start counts as an official time. But uh, the relay music. splits will not count. Here's the music for the finals. You'll notice too at the ends, you know, you've got the girls on their tech suits, they're hitting their legs, they're hitting their arms, keeping their muscles warm, jumping around. Yeah. I'll tell you as a parent, when I see those kids jumping on those slippery decks, I'm always worried. <laughs> I'm thinking, why? We don't need anybody getting hurt right before that race. Right. Well, it says they are warmed up. The teams are getting announced here as they get ready for the start. All right, well, we have lane one is going to be Midland High School. We've got Sandy Martin, Alyssa Retch, Maya Hacker, and Ailey Miller. In lane two, we have Heritage High School, Tina Nickelberry, Ella Banning, Hannah Fleming, and Molly Jaffe. In lane three, Grand Blank with Estella Grasso, Allison Quitos, Lexi Roth, and Sophie Curtis. In lane four, and I will continue in just a moment, the girls are about to start as they're stepping up on the blocks for that first leg of the 200. Really? Oh. really? In lane four, we have Powers Catholic with Emily Begat, Olivia Camara, Abby Mers, and Lara Rejack with that, oh, Lara Rejack who has that, uh, mm -hmm. that anchor spot. Mm -hmm. Dow High in lane five with Kaylee Jackson, Aaron Murphy, Mac Factory, who just finished the 500, by the way, and Ella Roberson. And in lane six, we have Davison High School with Emis Emerson, Airway, Sydney Dyer, Lauren Auger, and Maddie Flynn. All right, after the first 50, some very fast times coming in. Three teams posting a 25. Oh, wow. And that 53, it's a very close race between lanes two and three right now. That's Heritage and Grand Blank. Mm -hmm. But uh, looks like lane five That's is catching Dow up high. too. Yeah, looks like Dow, Dow High, high is in it. Five. Let's see what it comes down to. It looks still like that. Powers and Grand Blank going neck and neck for first place in the title in the 200 yard freestyle relay. You talk about pressure on those Powers anchors. Powers pulling out to a little lead, but Grand Blank swimmer. Here we go. It's coming down to this last Oh, 50. wow, look at those entries. Holy it's cow. It's going to be neck and neck Here between we go. Grand Blank. Sophie Curtis, Sophie Curtis with a beautiful turn. She's posting a score of her time. She's going to win it for Grand Blank. Who is going to take second? This is close for second. Watch yeah. that second place finish on your screen. Dow High. Dow High, all right. All right, ready to Lane go. Lane five, Dow High. Dow that was high. Ella Roberson at anchor in that leg. Nicely done. And, and third place to in. Lane two at Heritage. Molly Joffe was their anchor on that one. All right, so we've There's got your finish uh, on the screen, the replay. 35, Seeing your replay here. Look at that finish, boy, oh boy. You even had lane three powers right behind, taking a fourth just so close to those times. Yeah, 140, 35, not quite up to the meet record in the 200-yard freestyle relay set 2016 by Dow High, which included Jacobs, Newman, Syed, and Schultes. And we're gonna do the 500 free awards. So let's see if we've got that total in ours. Oh, it says completed. Let's see if it show up. It does. Eighth place, Mount Pleasant, Chloe Campbell. In seventh place, Lydia Ferguson from Grand Blank. In sixth place, Dow Highs. Catherine Gray. In fifth, in fifth place, Autumn Wolcott from Grand Blank. In fourth, in fourth place, Midland Abby Haig from Midland High. Midland High. And in third, third place, Davison Maddie Flynn Maddie from, from Davison High School. In, in second, second place, we saw that race happen, Mac Thackery from Dow High. And your 2020 SBL 500 yard freestyle relay champion is freshman Amelia Ayers from Grand Blank. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Amelia did a nice job there, and as Mac she Thackeray really makes her the way there. to the blocks, she's got to be tired after swimming the 500. And, and then, then turn around and do the 200 freestyle relay. Uh -huh. Woo. The, uh, the distance race and the sprint, uh, that's, a, that's a senior leader right there for you. 
on your team uh, now we can get now we can do the backstroke to the backstroke uh, apologize uh, up here from the from the loft at the Dow High Pool, it, it gets a little confusing every once in a while. I think the, uh, the chlorine runs through our In our first time doing veins. this, quite <laughs> frankly. Yeah. Well, we're, we're trying to keep up, but event number 10. Event 10. Is the backstroke, and uh, so this is where This is one that our kids have done too. Yeah. Our yep. oldest one was very close to a state cut on this. Mm. This, it's, it's those turns, man. The turns to having that perfect uh, timing when you hit that flag. How many more strokes do you take? It helps to be tall to swim the backstroke. It back does, stroke. it does. Having that reach. Mm -hmm. Just yep. want to give an update uh, on the Midland Dow Midland football game. Oh, I'm all right. Told, that sounds good. Uh, that the score is 7-7. Seven to seven. Wow. Uh, not sure uh, what quarter that is in, but uh, certainly. Um, We're getting uh, our text update from some of our kids and friends. Game. Thank you. All right. The kick is uh, very important on uh, the uh, backstroke. It's it's really the motor uh, of the uh, the swimmer. The arms are just trying to keep up with the feet. Three heats. Here we go. It's very Heat exhausting. So okay, watch this feet. one they're entering the water. The swimmer with the best kick. Starting in the water, just like the uh, medley relay. Okay, in lane one we have Maddie J from Midland High. In lane two, we have Brooklyn Wright from Grand Blank. Lane three, we have Powers, Gracie Spelza. In lane four, we have Isabella Goulette from Bay City Western. Lane five, Isabella Larkowski, freshman from Dow High. And lane six, Macy Rodriguez from Heritage. All right, you'll notice as these girls pass over these flags, they have a count in their head as to how many strokes they're going to take. They're allowed to flip over onto their stomach and take one freestyle stroke into their turn. Any more than that will result in a disqualification. disqualification yeah. So it looks like right now it's a very close race, but I would say the lead is up there in lane five, the Dow High swimmer. That's Isabella Larkowski. Mm -hmm, but it's close. It's uh, lane four is a Western swimmer starting to pull ahead with a nice turn there. That is awesome, Isabella Goulet. All right, Isabella, a senior. And she's a senior. Right? She's Once a senior. again, we got a senior freshman Trying thing. Trying to win wow. her meet in the Saginaw Valley League. That's got to be a good feeling. Congratulations, Isabella. It looks like you're going to win with very, and the Dow High Isabella coming in second. So Isabella and Isabella, congratulations. First place, 111. And Point lane four. two was lane uh, third place, Grand Blanks, Brooklyn Wright. 113 for second place and 114. Here's your, your photo finish replay again for second place. Yeah, that was a nice. Third uh, place really was the was, was the race there. Yeah, that was a good race. Yeah, good good sure. way to start the 100 yard backstroke. Yes, stroke. okay. Heat two. We're going to start here in just a moment. Yeah, they're swimming down. The girls are swimming down. So, um, and a lot of times you'll see them underwater pretty far, as far as they are allowed to go sometimes, doing that kick before they pop up out of the water, moving their arms. We are about to have heat two of three for the 100-yard backstroke. They'll say swimmers in the water is how they do this one instead of swimmers step up. And then they'll notice them, they'll pull them themselves up and then just dive backwards as far as they can. In lane one, we have Maya Zalewski from Midland High. Lane two, Mariah Morrison from Dow High. Lane three from Grand Blank Senior, Julia Groves. In lane four from Davison, Grace Dorman. Lane five from Power Flint Powers Catholic, Emma Pacotney. And in lane six, Marin Kustak from Powers Catholic. Yeah, looking like a good race here. Uh, look at the kick. In lane six up there for, for that uh, for That is Marin. Marin Kusek. Yeah, I like your kick. Uh, good turns. Here we go for the last 50. It looking like lane three uh, up to a pretty good lead. That's Julia Gross from Grand Blank. She's a senior, senior. Yeah, yeah. season swimmer. She's uh, you setting expect. the pace today. Let's see what happens in the finish of the second heat. Let's see who can and maybe you know, catch I, and her but finish second. Sometimes I notice how the different, like, You'll notice our lead swimmers kind of pushing herself through the water, then some gals are gliding through the water. Yeah, so I guess two like, different uh, kinds of styles. Mariah Bornson. It's working for her. For Dow High. Gonna take second place. Maybe it's gonna be a close finish. Oh, who? Lane four. Lane four no, takes was. 
It Second, was Grace. Grace, Grace Norman from Davison. From Davison. Out Nicely touching done. Mariah. Mariah took third. So uh, congratulations to our winner of that heat, senior Julia Groves from Grand from Lake. Lake. 107-11. That was a nice time. All 107, right. cut a little time. Good for her. Go. Nicely done. Uh, here we go at the finish, the final Okay, heat. final heat, and I'm, I'll announce who they are right now. Not, in not heat three, man. we've got in lane one, we'll have from Dow High, Chloe Stafford. Lane two from Dow High, Emmy Sauer. Lane three from Grand Blank, Lucia Grasso. Lane four from Powers, there's Lara Wejek. In lane five, we've got Saginaw Heritage, Ella Banning, and Lane the sixth from Grand Blank, Emerson Jocelyn. A couple of girls there, uh, Lara Wujek, we've seen her swim and win an event here, I think, earlier today. And then Lucia have a chance here to break a minute. Emma, uh, Emma, Emma Sauer's Sauer. very close to that yep, state cut for herself. Well as uh, Ella Banning. From the state Florida. cut time for uh, Division Two, 102.29. This is a potential to be a very good race. This is going to be a very good race. Also, Chloe Stafford could also possibly make that state cut. She's very close as well. She's coming in at a 103.21. And, and they're, they're off. off. Oh, nice go. What a starts. nice underwater. Wow. Not, Those a, were not a swimmer starts. up yet. There we go. Finally popping up out Grand of the Lake. water. Wow, what a start. That was a beautiful, that I think was probably one of the best starts I've ever seen. The way they jumped in, all their backs were Look at how so their nice. underwaters oh, are just amazing in this. So lane four is really set. Lane four, the that's that Lara Wejek from uh, Powers Catholic. She's got a very good time, a 28.79 on their 50. Most of the swimmers are below 30 seconds. This could be a very good finish. Lara Wujak with a lead going into the last 25. Lane five's got Ella Banning there from Saginaw Heritage. And then lane four. Oh, this four, is gonna be a race here. Lane three is that Lucia Grasso from Grand Let's watch this Link. second place finish. It looks like wow. Lara's Lara gonna Wujak win. Lara from Powers. She's gonna be your champion, but let's take a look wow. at the second place. Oh. Second place. Lane three. Lane three. Lane Luke, five. To Lucia Grasso from Grand Blank. And lane five was Ella Banner from Heritage. There's a state cut. Dow High swimmers are uh, going crazy there with the. Uh... Yes. State they both did cut. it. State cuts for both girls from Dow High. Excellent job, Chloe Stafford and Emmy Sauer. So although they didn't oh, win the race, wow. they get to race again. They get to race again in states. Excellent state job, finals. congratulations. 59-27 to your champion. That is crazy. From Grand Blank Nicely High School. Done. Congratulations to Lane. Lara. They're from uh, Powers, I'm sorry, I keep saying Grand Blank. It's uh, Lara, Lara from Powers. Lara from Powers. From Powers, yes. Yeah. Nicely done, Lara, yep. that is. Uh, that's a great time. Yeah, she did very well, Under very well. In eighth place from Mount Pleasant oh, High I'm so excited for the girls that need their state cut. That's exciting. Oh, wow. A lot of times, this, the SBL is their last in chance to get to the state cut. Mm -hmm. Autumn Simmer, Brianna Rosette, and Abigail Harnett. Giving out some awards now. In sixth place from Midland High School, Sandy Martin, Melissa Wrench, Mia Hacker and Allie Miller. In fifth place from Davison, Emerson Irwin, Sydney Dyer, Lauren Auger, and Maddie Quinn. Okay. In fourth from Flint fourth Powers, place. Flint Powers Emily Catholic, Olivia Kamara, Abigail Burrs, and Laura Very nice. In third, in from third Heritage, place from Stagnaw Heritage, Ella Banning, 18. Hannah Fleming, and Molly Jaffer. Okay. Your second, second place from team Dow. from Dow High. Jackson, Aaron Murphy, Very nicely Kenton done. Hattery. And your 2020 SBL League champion for the 200 yard freestyle relay is Grand Blank. Okay. Nicely done. Congratulations, ladies. All right, up next, event 11. That would be the 100 yard breaststroke. The 100 yard breaststroke will be next. All right. Okay. 
Congratulations to the 200 yard freestyle relay winners as we move on to the uh, event 11. The breaststroke, it's a very time consuming event there. We've got, uh, you know, as the swimmers really uh, have to have a lot of coordination. You know, if, you're, uh, if your stroke gets off at any time during the race, it's very hard to get back on. The, the kick is uh, the different kick than any other kick at any other event. It's uh, very propulsive. Okay, so this is the 100, event 11, 100 yard breaststroke. Girls are on the blocks. They are about ready to go. And we have in lane one from Saginaw Heritage, Jaden Porter. Lane two, Dow High's Mia Ben. Lane three, Dow High senior Yazzie Safadi. Lane four from Grand Blank. We have Keelan Macy, lane five from Dow High, Amanda Davis, and in lane six from Grand Blank, Brooklyn Buzzard. All right, so Yazzie and Amanda, both seniors, for Dow High in this uh, event here as they ease into their 50 here. They're, it's a very close race. Looks like. Looks like Yazzie with a slight advantage going into the wall. And a little bit on Yazzie from our senior night the other night. Her favorite event happens to be the 100 breaststroke. Also the 100 butterfly she put in there, but knowing that this is her favorite event, I'm glad she's getting to swim this. That's wonderful. Well, it's a close race. Uh, all the way up at the top of the screen, lane six, followed by uh, lane four and three, and then lane two. It's anybody's last 25 here. This is where the coordination and the timing of the stroke. This and also the happens to be, we have senior Amanda Davis in there. This stroke also happens to be her favorite stroke. All right, here's the finish. So we'll see how it finishes out. I'm glad they are getting to do their favorite again. Looks All like right, Yazzie. lane and one. Oh, very close. Or, I mean, in first for place, lane three. Yazzie Safadi from Dow High. Second place went to lane four. Keelan Macy summer. from Grand Blank. And then, uh, very close race, and then lane two, also uh, the Dow High swimmer, Mia Bell. So congratulations, ladies, on that. Second heat. Second heat coming right up. Mia Bem, also her brother Noah Bem, swam that breaststroke quite a bit with Dow High. Also helped with some volunteer uh, coaching there in the past, getting that breaststroke up to par for those boys. We are about to start heat two of three in the 100 yard breaststroke. The swimmers are getting ready. Moving uh, all their muscles, They're not allowed around. to make a splash with their feet on their kicks. Uh, they are uh, no. the two hand touch at the wall. All right, here they go, stepping up on the blocks. And they're about to go in lane one from Dow High, Sierra Brooks. Lane two from Mount Pleasant. Nola Boyle, lane three from Grand Blank, Estella Grasso. Lane four from Powers Catholic, Hannah Erpelde. Lane five from Davison, Lily Smith. And lane six from Midland High, Addison Birchmeyer. We've got a six swimmer here race is. here going into the first 25. Not a lot of separation between first place and sixth place oh, in this wow, event. Oh wow, this is close right now. This is one of the closer races we've seen all day. Definitely, let's we'll see how it looks on the turn. Turn is big, two hand touch turn. See how they do. Gotta be do. fast off the wall. Fast off the wall. Got those refs right, looking those close. Underwaters. All right, here we go, the last 50. You'll hear oftentimes during the breaststroke, people whistling, and they yell as soon as the girl's head pops up. Looking like uh, Estella from Grand Blank and Hannah from Powers giving us a Battling race here into the last 25. Four. Who's it gonna be? Estella for Grand Blank in lane three, and Hannah for Powers in lane four. Let's watch this finish as they come into the wall. Dow High swimmer there down in lane one. Don't forget about her, Sierra. Sierra Brooks. Here he comes here for the she finish. Goes. Come on. Nicely wow, done. Wow, what a come finish on. in Dow there High. Finish here in third. Sierra Both Brooks one side. That's a tie. A tie for That's first place. That's a tie place. for first place. Wow, incredible. Co Saginaw Valley League Lady, champions. That was Estella uh, Grasso from Grand Blank. Not and champions, but co Hannah, winners. Co winners. And Hannah Erpelding okay. from Powers. Both sophomores. Still one more With heat the same to go. time. Crazy. That was exciting. You don't see too many ties. You don't. Not normally. In swimming, uh, usually with the going down to the hundredth of a second there. Let's. 
You that just saw that replay there, match. so you just saw that again. An amazing tie. Wow. So you know, we have those the pads there, so mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, they touch that pad, and it all depends on how you touch it. Hundreds of a second. Are you separating. touching it with the flat of your hand? Are you touching it with your fingertips? Yeah. How are they touching it? Are you growing your fingernails still going into the meat? <laughs> or are you, are you trimming them down? Trimming them down? I don't know. All right, let me get to the next heat here. Lane final in heat. final heat. We have in lane one, Aaron Murphy from Dow High. In lane two, from Grand Lake, Allison Quitos. In lane three, Abby Mers from Flint Powers. In lane four, Sarah Hartwell from Grand Blank. In lane five, Lauren Burgard from Dow High. In lane six, Olivia Camara from Powers. So this is a Dow High Powers Grand Blank battle. All right, two swimmers uh, coming in. Powers, Abigail Mers and Grand Blank Sarah Hartwell coming in with both times of 110. But as we've seen today, these girls are swimming very fast. So let's see what happens. Okay, swimmers are up. They are about to be in. This is going to be a fast race for a breaststroke. And they're in. Here we go. You'll hear some definite whistling and yelling as their heads pop up through and this one. And there they are. Look at that. More than halfway down the pool under the water. That was incredible. What a start. Wow. That's the power swimmer uh, starting to lead at the 25. That was Abby Mers in lane three. Abigail Mers starting out with the early lead. And but let's see if. We've got lane two there, too. Allison Quitos pretty mm -hmm. close. And yep. in lane four, Abigail you've got making Sarah the turn Hartwell. in the lead with a 31 64 split. Very nice turn. And uh, here we go. I, I, I You know what? I watched um, Abby Mers from Powers Catholic when they were here before yeah. in our duo. She's and doing that was, very she well was today. incredible. Still in the lead at Good 75 spinner. yards. Who is going to be your Saginaw Valley League champion? It will Lauren surely Burgard come in lane five from there this heat. Is right up there. She's getting in there too now. Come on. Looking like Abigail. All right, looks like lane three. And here comes Allison. Abby Allison Kutos, lane two, second place. Congratulations, Allison, and finishing third in third place, place Sarah Hartwell. Sarah Hartwell from Grand Lake. So what a what a race! Oh, another another burst of energy and cheer from the Dow High side there. As uh, did someone just make another state cut there? Hmm, not sure. We'll have to find out. Those but, times uh, switch pretty quick on us on that board. Very which is nice. Okay. Very nice race. We're champion. From Powers Catholic. At the time of 108.45 is Abigail Mers. All right, looks like we're going to have to listen to Jeff when we do these 100-yard backstroke awards mm. as the uh, backstroke awards are not in. Um, oh, maybe they are. Here we go. Oh, yep. Yeah. I just got my Meet Mobile updated. Here we go. 100-yard back. In the Eighth place, we have Grace Dorman from Davison with a 109. In seventh place, we have Julia Grove from Grand Blank with a 107. In sixth place, Emerson Jocelyn from Grand Blank, 102. From fifth place, Chloe Stafford from Dow High with a 101 in fourth place from Dow High, Emmy Sauer with a 101. In third place, Ella Manning from Heritage with a 101. In second place, Lucia Grasso from Grand Blank with 101. And your 2020 SBL 100 Backstroke League Champion is Laura Wiejek from Powers Catholic in Flint with a 59, breaking that minute, wow. Not, not Grand Blank as I kept saying, sorry about that, Powers. Uh, yep, Lara from Powers. Lara Wejek from Powers, nicely done, mm -hmm. breaking a minute, that is incredible. Well, uh, people, do you like watching your favorite high school events on MCTV? Stay tuned this fall for more games and events on the MCTV network. Watch replays of Midland versus Dow football, volleyball, girls golf, and this swim meet on the MCTV network or Community Voices YouTube channel. Check out their Facebook page for upcoming winter sports and other hyper-local community content on the MCTV network. Okay, here we go. Getting ready for the last. The final event, mm -hmm. event 12. We have a couple of awards after that, and then we'll crown the champion. 
This is the 400 freestyle relay. This is four by 100. Each girl will do a 100 freestyle. Okay, two heats of this event. Just two heats left. Okay, the girls are, oh, they're asking for quiet across the spectators. And okay, go. and there you go. In lane two, we have Bay City Central with Ember Lindstock, Isabel Trifle, Trifleur, Ella Briggs, and Maria Kuala. From Bay City Western in lane three, Maddie Forner, Isabella Goulet, Kara Smitsek, and Abby Harney. In lane four from Mount Pleasant, Olivia Thirsthard, Katherine Brown, Mackenzie Berger, and Lily O'Neill. In lane five, from Lapeer, we have Alexis George, Sophia Polga, Gabby Keel, and M. Niquette. So this is the last chance the teams have to score points for their team. This last relay is, uh, is essentially where a lot of meets come down to. Uh, if you're ever at a swim meet and it comes down to the last relay, there is uh, really nothing more exciting than that. There's it's, a lot of screaming and yelling. It's one of the hardest relays because it's 100 yards uh, each swimmer after they've already swam a meet full of events. So the swimmers do get tired and they're into the water first is uh, a lane three uh, for this event, which is uh, the Western swimmers. So uh, Western out to an early lead, but coming up very closely in lane two is Bay City Central. So uh, a battle of Bay City teams here going on in lanes two and three. Uh, there's, a, there's a strong rivalry always between the Central Wolves and the mm -hmm. Bay City Western Warriors. So let's see what a, what a race we've got going on here between lanes two and three. And Bay City Central and Western is in their final and their score so far. They are just both their seventh and ninth. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how they do here. Uh, you know their coaches are, are cheering them on. They know right where they stand. So this is going to be the race to watch here for for sure is that lane three, the Western swimmer versus lane two, the Central swimmer at the bottom of your screen going into the 200 halfway mark. It is neck and neck. As we go into this final event of the day, uh, still in first place, we have Grand Blank with 620.5 points. We have Dow High at 570. And then we go to third place, Powers Catholic with 327.5. Okay. So we'll see how things finish out in that next Third leg swimmers relay. are in the pool here. Uh, the Western starting to pull ahead. The central coaches desperately cheering on their swimmer to continue the battle against those mighty Western Warriors. And I know, yep, after this, we'll be doing our awards for the breaststroke. Then they'll have the awards ready for the freestyle relay. And then we'll be talking about that traveling trophy among the SBL. It's called the Travel Team Trophy. It'll be awarded to the championship team so we'll see how, how Western's, that fares out. Western's uh, relay team here is anchored by Abigail Harned, senior from Western. Central's team is anchored by Mariah. Mariah Kalwan. Kalwan, freshman. So here we go. Looks like Again, you uh, have a senior and a freshman at yeah. the end there, anchoring and up the team. Looks like that senior is off to an amazing lead. Uh, really like the way that 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 senior from Western Abigail Harnett does the does the turns, right? This was the, Abigail was also the league champion in diving, as I remember reading her name at the beginning. She was, this and not, that does not always champion. happen. Your divers are not always on Anchoring the swimming team. A 400 yard freestyle relay today. So oh, this is a good point. I hadn't thought about that. She got this to compete on Thursday and today. Really nice flip turns there. Well, I, well, she's got that that style. Mm -hmm. All those twists lots and turns. Power, and lots of power, good kick here, good finish, and a good strong race for the Western Warriors. Congratulations Nicely to their team done. For Nicely done. That heat. Western Warriors. That was Maddie Forner, Isabella Goulet, Karis Nitsky, and Abigail Hunter. She gave it her all. She's exhausted. But nice job. Western and here comes here comes our second place for this heat. Going to be uh, Centra coming in and very close behind in lane 
four. Four is Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. Mm -hmm. Bay City Central taking second on that, and Mount Pleasant taking third. Four seventeen. We're almost done with this 45. race as we uh, mm -hmm. had that last team coming in from Lapeer, the mm -hmm. Lapeer Lightning. That anchor is M. Niquette. There's She's the a senior, so that's her second place finish. That is her final relay there. Could be her final race. I don't know what's after this for her, but here goes the okay, let me read off uh, these ones comes. right now. Here, here we go. The final heat, heat two. In first, lane one from Midland High, Ellie Miller, Maya Hacker, Alyssa Wrench, Abby Hag. In lane two from Powers Catholic, Emily Snyder. Caitlin Lord and I, Emily Bagot, Lauren Taylor. In lane three, we have Dow High with Emmy Sauer, Mac Thackeray, Chloe Stafford, and Ella Roberson. In lane four, we have Grand Blank with Ellie Berry, Lexi Roth, Emerson Jocelyn, Amelia Ayers. In lane five, Davison, Emerson Irway, Lauren Auger, Grace Dorman, and Maddie Flynn. And in lane six, we have Heritage with Jaden Porter, Brooklyn, Lestulket, and Ella Wagner and Macy Rodriguez. All right, it's all coming down to this. Uh, if you're swimming and your team's in the lead here, you're just trying to you're trying to win the event as you always are as a competitor, but you just don't want to make that crucial mistake. You can hear the energy in the room getting a little bit heightened up. Team disqualified. Uh, you, don't, you don't want anything like that to oh, happen. Oh, Lord, no. You want to uh, make sure that you're swimming a clean race. Clean race. And uh, But a fast race. You do want to go home with the championship and the title in the 400-yard freestyle relay. And so. even if you don't win the championship, winning this last race is always exciting. Mm -hmm. For whoever the team is that wins it, it's Gonna a very be exciting a great race. race between uh, Powers Catholic and Dow High here. In lanes three. And Grand Blank. And Grand too, Blank uh, could be sneaking entry. in there as well. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Are we coming out? Yep, there it is. They are coming out fighting. Dow High lane three out to an early lead. Nicely done. Nicely done. Close, though. It's very close, but Dow High still kind of leading the pack there, but lit powers to their. Mac Becker has got her second leg of this when she. Uh, Gets to get in there. Boy, She's warming this up. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. 26 89. What a 50 split. Lane four is Grand Blank. After swimming all Lane day. Lane five is Davison. Davison is right the in there. The crowd too. is definitely into this. And by all crowd, right. I just mean okay. swimmers because there aren't go. a lot of spectators here. No, just the senior parents. Just the senior parents. Dow High pulling a little bit of a lead there. Yeah, Emmy the Sauer, nicely done. Mac Thackeray about to go in. All right, All right let's go, let's water. see what happens. Okay. Lane four is... Uh, Lane four is Grand Blank. Grand Blank. Very close race here. Close race. Dow now, let's High not is the Mac state Thackeray champion quite a bit. in this event from last year. Dow High is the reigning state champion in the 400 yard freestyle relay. Can they win the Saginaw Valley League Championship in this event. No, very good turn for the Grand Blank swimmer. Come on in. Starting to take a little Come bit of a lead in. now there in lane four. Watch right. this turn. Grand Blank coming ahead. Watch this turn in lane four right there. Nicely done. Good, powerful turn. But here oh, comes wow. the Dow High swimmer, Mac Thackeray. This is gonna come down wow. to the last two swimmers, which is this what you Stafford. want. For the championship in the 400 yard freestyle relay. Number three. It's halfway here over, we it's go. neck and neck. Cow, Both here we go. into the water at the same time. All right, here we go. We got Chloe and Emerson battling out in this third leg. What a Both race. pushing hard. Pushing very as fast nice as they can go. There for Dow High swimmer. Still very close, neck and very neck. close. Who do we got anchoring these teams in the We've court? got Ella Roberson anchoring and Amelia Ayers, uh, both uh, underclass and a freshman and a sophomore. There we go, it's all on the line. Right now we've got Chloe and Emerson. Chloe from Dow High, Emerson from Grand Blank. Grand Blank starting to pull ahead. Starting to pull ahead, I'm not sure. We need a fast 25, it's gonna be a good race, but we need a good start. Here we go. Ella Roberson's got her uh, work cut off for her. She's going to catch Amelia. 
There's Amelia into the water. And there's Ella into the water. Here we go. Here we go. Who will take it? Four lengths to go. The crowd is The crowd is going on crazy. Their They're feet. on their feet yelling. The okay. volume in oh, here. Ella here we Wilkerson go. with a great Ella push with off. a great turn. Wow. Starting to catch. She's catching Amelia up. Amelia from Grand Blood. This is it, the last 50. It's neck and neck, Okay, folks. it's neck and neck. What Holy a finish. Cow. Who's it going to be? Dow Is it going to be Ella? Versus Grand Blood. This should be the championship decided right here. Here Ella we Robertson go. Coming. Ella Robertson Ella taking Robertson her hair of a lead. Into the wall first. She's jumped out to a lead, it looks Come like. Come on, Ella, go. Ella it's Robertson going to be Dow Hyde taking the 400 turn. yard freestyle relay. Way to go. Dow Hyde, Graham Blake coming in second. 3.43.45, the winning time for what the Dow Hyde Chargers. That was incredible. The winners. They hold their 400 freestyle title. Oh, wow. What a race. What a great. Here's your replay. Here's your replay. Right There's there Ella the Roberson coming screen. in. Ella Roberson anchoring that team. Wow. Amelia that Ayers, was freshman. Incredible. Nice what a swim. Race. What a race. What a, Nicely done, gal. What a meet. The yes. meet has been uh, back it and forth. It has been a fast meet. All day, and uh, boy, it's. Look at those times. Okay. Third place was lane two, Powers Catholic. Very nicely done. With the 355. All right. And that's it in for just the competition. A moment. That's all the events. That's all the events. In just a moment, we will have our 100 breaststroke awards, and we will also have our 400 relay awards. Yeah. So as they're calculating the the scores here, we'll have a some awards going on. But as their swimmers are swimming down, we want to remind you that this season was really uh, kind of up in arms with all of the COVID-19 restrictions. Well, we didn't even know if we'd have a season. Started very, very <laughs> late. Lots of teams were out there swimming in open water. Open water. Yeah. They were swimming out in the Bay, yeah, Haithco uh, Park, Haithco Park, Stratford or, Park. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, you know, any outdoor pool and, you yeah. can find in the evening, late at night. And these coaches were uh, getting any time in the pool, they and were. it all came down to this event here today. Well, and then so. even when they got in the pools, they had all those restrictions about how many girls could be in a lane, right. where they started. Right. So training was tough. Oh, we're doing some awards here. We are on the breaststroke. 100 yard breaststroke awards. Yes. Let me listen. So the fourth attention. place right now. Fourth place, Aaron Murphy from Dow High. Mm -hmm. In third place, Sarah Hartwell from Grand Blank. In second place from Grand Blank, Allison Kitos. And your 2020 SVL champion in the 100 yard breaststroke, Abby Mers from Powers Catholic. Yeah, Abby had a nice time that 108.45. 108 uh, Nicely nice. done. Nicely nice. done, ladies. Congratulations. That was a good race. That was excellent. So they're on the blocks there for the 100 yard breaststroke awards. And as they step down, the swimmers that just swam in the 400 yard freestyle relay are going to make their way back to that end of the pool. Results are for still the pending. Awards of the 400 yard freestyle so relay. So, you know, just a few things I know that are coming up. We've got the uh, state finals. He's going right oh, into the like awards. Oh, looks like we got the so. awards for the 400, mm, which I do not have, so we'll have to listen to Jeff here. Central. Eighth place, Bay City Central. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. All right. Seventh place. I think that Ella was- Ella Wagner, that was- Lapeer, uh, I believe. Western was okay, sixth. Okay, Western was sixth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Midland High. Okay. All right. Third. Fourth place, Davison. Yep, yep. Third place, Powers Third Catholic. Third place, Powers Catholic. Mm -hmm. 
second place from Grand Blanc High School, they're 18. And your 2020 Saginaw Valley League champions for the 400 freestyle relay is Dow High. HH Dow High, first place. Excellent job. We had Ellie Sauer, Mac Thackeray, Chloe Stafford, and Ella Roberson. Excellent job, girls. Way to go, Dow High. Way to go, Dow High. That's right. All right, let's see how the teams finished. We're just waiting for the final, final scores, scores to be tallied. We'll see in just a moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Jeff has. It might be different than what Meet Mobile has. Sometimes That's true. Uh, Meet Mobile doesn't include the diving into their totals, so we're not quite, not sure, quite sure who yet. the winner is yet. Well, no. All right, so as they're tallying, we want to remind you that the state championships for swimming are going to be held November 20th and 21st. I know that uh, diving is going to all be on the 20th and mm -hmm. the 21st is the swimming, just yeah. like this one. They're just going to have one day and it's time trials again. Well, Same Division thing. one is going to be in Hudsonville. Or not time trials, time, time, just like this one. Right. Where top time wins, that's it. Scoring will be the same as yep. this meet. Division two is at Grand Rapids Northview and division three Lake Orion. So here we go. We're going to try and uh, give out the, the swimmers awards for the swimmer of the meet. Okay, yep, that's this one. And this one then, Jeff. Coach of the meet from Grand Blank. Emily Obermeyer. Mm -hmm. Coach Excellent of the meet. Excellent job. Voted on by other coaches, Yep. by the way. A nice honor to be had. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Emily. Swimmer of the meet. Yeah, that diver. Yes. Abigail Harnett, yeah. swimmer of the meet from Way Bay City Western. Congratulations. She, what a skilled gal. Mm -hmm. What a skilled gal. Diving that's, and swimming. And a, mm -hmm. and a great swimmer and a great diver. Anchored what that talent. relay team. And, yep, very nice. There we go, 10th place. 64 points. Bay City Central in ninth. Eighth, Mount Pleasant with 110. In seventh place, Bay City Western High School with 133. In sixth place, Miller High, 185 points. Fifth place, Davison High School, 207 points. Fourth place, Saginaw Heritage with 209. In third place, Powers Catholic with 363.5 points. In second place, from HH Dow High, 614 points. And your defending champions and 2020 SBL championship team is Grand Blank High School with 658.5 points. Congratulations, excellent job. Congratulations to Grand Blank. Those final scores here are uh, how we're gonna wrap things up here this afternoon. We wanna thank you all for joining us uh, this afternoon for the 2020 Saginaw Valley League Girls Swim Diving and Championship uh, meet there. Uh, you can uh, catch the replays on MCTV Network all right, anytime it's, you uh, want. And I know they have a YouTube channel too, so they can uh, check it out there. It's been my pleasure to be your sidekick here this afternoon. Uh, my Our first run. Professional Maybe again. broadcasting I don't know. partner now. Uh, we'll see. Renee, it'll, it'll catch it on YouTube or I'll on the say, MCTV it feels replays. I'll have to be uh, doing this kind of stuff again. I loved uh, it. I hope so. Uh, have a great afternoon, Congratulations, everyone. Teams. Thanks a lot.